Except for a tape measure and a blocking mat, this is everything that you'll need. You'll need your yarn kit um, or the yarn that you have chosen. Um, this is the Be Present colour kit from Yarn and Colours. Um, you will need scissors, you will need a hook, you will need a darning needle, um, and you will need blocking pins and obviously some stitch markers will help you along the way. So yeah, let's get started. Hello and welcome to part one. So we're about to do round one. Um, so I've got my tea ready, I'll put that to the side. I hope you've got a tea and all of your yarn. We're gonna start off with color A, which in my case is sunflower. Um, and you might be pulling your yarn from the middle of your skin. I've chosen this time when I'm doing this tutorial to do this. I don't really know why, but it just happened. <laughs> So let's see how that goes. Okay, before round one, it says that with yarn A, make a magic circle, chain one, and make eight single crochets. So let's start off by doing that. Do your magic circle. Uh, everyone does this differently. If you want to, uh, surely you can You can just uh, use, um, you don't have to make a magic circle if you don't want to. You can chain, I think, probably about four maybe might be good and then put that together so okay so magic circle chain one and we're making eight single crochets so one two three four five six seven and eight okay now round one is also with yarn a so therefore we are not cutting our yarn yet we're going to be using this uh, the same color um, if you pull on this here the little end you've got it's going to shut your ring um, and as you see we've got one two three four five six seven and eight so what we're going to do is we're just going to slip stitch and close that so we can keep going so we're doing a slip of this i think it's one of the few times that i'm doing slip stitches to close rounds um in this whole pattern because you change color so much um we cut the yarn and make an invisible join and then start again for the next round. Um, you can do this in any way you prefer, obviously, but we're just showing you the way that we've done this. Okay, so now it says start in any single crochet because obviously someone might want a different color in the middle. You never know. Um, and now we're gonna start with a first uh, stitch called a three double crochet cluster. And this is, I guess, a bit of a special stitch. Um, do look at the stitch guide. I will go through it here as well if you find it complicated. Now three double crochet clusters are made in the same stitch um, and it's basically three double crochets together. So you're not finishing off your double crochet. You start off, I do standing ones. You can obviously chain as well if you want to. So I'm going in the stitch, picking up my yarn and not finishing that double crochet. So I've got two loops on my hook, yarn over again, Go in the same stitch, pull up your yarn, and then don't finish that one either. So now we've got two. Yarn over, go in the same stitch again, and now four loops on your hook, like that, okay? And now you pull through all of them, and that is your first cluster finished, okay? After that, we're doing a chain two, one, and two. And now we're again doing clusters in every single stitch that we have. So we're going to be left with eight clusters. So again, three double crochets unfinished, like that. It will leave four loops on your hook. And then you pull through and you've got your cluster finished. Chain two again. 
Yarn over, double crochet, don't finish it. Yarn over, same stitch again. And then a third time. And that's how you make your clusters. In this pattern, there are clusters involving both two and three double crochets. I think there's some trebles in there as well without knowing it everything by heart. Chain two, another cluster. Um, and again, we, you should be able to, through all of the descriptions that we've got, the photos that Tess has taken, um, and also through this video, you should be able to figure it all out. We're hoping so. It's so nice to have you along. It's lovely to, to be doing this, actually working on this project for a long time now. There we go, you can see what's happening here, all of these clusters. Chain two. And another cluster. Not sure how many we've done, we're gonna to have to count in a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got two more to go. And then this round is done. Oh, blanket's almost done now. How does that feel? Let's see. So doing the first, second, and third double crochet and finished. And then yarn over and pull through. So there we go. And then that's this is the final one, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I have a tendency to have to recount things all the time. It is a good thing in this pattern to make sure that your stitch count is is correct. You can obviously save all these things. Like if if you've uh, missed one stitch, you can you can always kind of hide mistakes. But um, because some of it's pretty comp like not complicated, but you have to count a lot. It's good that it's it's correct. Chain two, and now we are back in the beginning. And again, you can pull on this string a little bit and tighten the middle of it. Tighten even more. Um, and now we cut our yarn. Pull that through. And we do invisible joins. So I think it looks so much neater. Um, even when you're about to start the next round because you'll be crocheting in a real stitch. I like that. As you can see now, let's do an invisible join so you know what we're doing. Um, as you can see on top, we've got, that's the cluster um, stitch there, two chains, and here is that first cluster stitch, okay? And that's the one we want to hide to make our invisible join. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the legs here on the first ch uh, first chain like that. Don't like making invisible joints into chains like I'm doing now, but you know sometimes you have to do what you have to do. Okay, and then you go back in the same spot where your yarn came from. Go back again and get a bit stuck. And there you have your invisible join. Okay, so you've got another stitch on top of your old stitch basically. And you can turn so you get that third loop as well, which I like doing. That hidden one, secret one behind. Yeah, and there we go. So you can't really tell where you've done the join. Now, throughout the pattern, uh, one thing that it's good to mention already now in the start, um, I like fastening my ends straight away because it is um, it's one of those pains that I have a tendency not to do if I don't do it straight away. So I'm end up with hundreds and hundreds of ends that I don't tie in and then Tess has to do it when she comes here and then she doesn't like that, you know, it's all a bit messy. But um, in some of them, have a look at what's coming because if you're doing a lot of front posts or back posts, I would recommend that you wait, obviously you do your join, um, but you wait to fasten your ends because if you um, go through in the back too much, sometimes it's really hard to make um, 
the front and back posts. Okay, um, if I look in the next round, I know that it's a front, front post single around the whole body of this cluster. So we're fine fastening these. So let's do that, shall we? Um, obviously, you can do this on your own. So I'll meet you back here for round two. Welcome back for round two. For this one, and we're going to use colour B, in my case, that is cantaloupe. Yarn and colours must have. Lovely cotton yarn this. Um, and in this one, we're gonna be using our first front post stitch. Now I don't know if you're familiar with that. If you're not, worry about it. I will hold your hand the whole way. So we're gonna fasten our uh, yarn on a hook with a slip knot. Now I'm going to give you a tip because most people will make, will do this and and uh, make the loop, put their hook through the loop and then pull. Now I do it slightly differently. Mine's a little bit quicker. You're going to save so much time. Okay, so um, just like with the magic circle, you wrap your yarn like that so it's like an X put your hook underneath and catch that that one over there pull it through and just pull you're done see how quick that was let's do it again so do your X pull it through done okay so I think that's so much quicker one of those things that you do along the way now this is round one very pretty but the blank is not really done yet so the first thing we're gonna do uh, is start around any cluster so you can choose you've got eight and I do uh, whenever I start and some people want to um, start by fastening the yarn and then chaining and things and you can do that and that's fine I'm gonna be doing it in a way that I do which is just standing um, stitches um, so for this front post single crochet going round cluster like that I pick up my yarn and just do my single crochet okay so that's what I do and then we have two single crochets in the chain two space so let's do that one two back to the next cluster again front post single crochet two single crochets so let me do this front post crochet a little bit um, slower for you. Okay, so as you can see now with the ones that I've done, what happens is these little clusters pop, yeah? You see how they pop up a bit and they tighten up, become a bit more of clusters rather than just stitches together. Uh, now, a front post stitch, you go around, now we're going through the whole, around the whole cluster, however, it'll be the same if you're just doing it around any stitch. You're going from the front and coming back around, yeah? So you'll be going around the post, catching your yarn and pulling it up and then doing your stitch. Let's do our two single crochets. If you're doing back posts, I'm gonna get to that because we're gonna be doing back posts, but you go from behind your work like that, so you come in and do that. So if I was to do that for this one, which I've never tried, let's see what it looks like. It would, you see the difference that the the cluster will actually not really pop, it will actually be going going back uh, in your work, which is not what we want in this case. So that's what it looks like. So front post you go from in front of the posts and with the back ones you go from the back of your work to, I see I'm, I'm following you along this whole round because this is a quick and easy round. Two single crochets in every chain two space. several different front posts obviously any stitch you have you can do a front post basically single half double treble double all of that jazz and then two single crochets and we're actually already at the end so look at that um this is what your piece should be looking like now and you can see how this has popped like a little flower in the middle 
or sunshine or whatever you want it to be. I think it's a flower. So you've got this all little cocoons because it's the butterfly effect. In any case, um, you cut your yarn like we've done before. I'll do another invisible join with you just simply because I can. So cut your yarn, pull it through. we've got here and again um, because we're doing it um, I've done a standing uh, stitch I've got um, it's a little knot up here but that will be hidden so you don't have to worry about it um, again we've got a yarn coming through here as you can see and we go through not the first stitch but the second stitch like that because we're covering the first stitch Pull that up a bit so it actually covers and then we're going back down through and I go through especially when they're single ones through both of them here at the back to make it really sturdy and stuff so pull that a bit tighter and as you can see you don't really know where the stitch is That is my eldest daughter, if you heard her in the background, telling my husband he's got a message on his phone. Okay, so there we go. So fasten your ends. If that's something, yeah, let me have a look at the next round. Yeah, fasten your ends, that'll be good. And I'll meet you back for round three. Here we are, back for round three. So this is what round one and two looks like. I showed you before. Round three. My colour is girly pink. So let's open that one up. Pull some yarn out. Now let's have a look at this um, this round before we get started. Um, it's pretty straightforward actually because there's half double crochets, double crochets, and single crochets. We're not skipping any stitches. We're using all of our stitches, um, and nothing in brackets and. And yeah, simple enough. Let's see what we can do. Remember the X, pull it through and you're done. Let's see, half double crochet is what we're starting with. And it says start in any front post single crochet. So if you remember, we have our two single crochets in the chain and then we have the front post single crochet around the cluster. So let's start there. And we're doing a half double crochet and again I'm doing a standing stitch so I'm holding uh, my yarn tightly with my finger and just yarning over go into the indicated stitch pick up my yarn and pull through all loops pull through all three loops on my hook now we're doing um, as you can see it says two double crochets um, within the next comma and that means that we're doing two double crochets in the same stitch so one and then two okay after that we're chaining two one two and again in the next stitch we're doing two double crochets so let's see one and two after that we're doing another half double crochet doing a single crochet we're doing a chain one and a single crochet in the next stitch like that and now it says repeat from the little star until the end of the round so let's do this I'll go with you all the way in this one as well it's not really a hard one you probably don't need my hand to hold however it's nice to do it together isn't Oh, so half double crochet, next stitch do two double crochets, one and two, chain two like that and then we're doing in the next stitch we're doing two double crochets again, so one and two, in the next stitch half 
half double crochet. I wonder if some of you are using the charts as well. They are so beautiful. And I saw the first uh, part, the first chart for the first part. Um, I, I just died. It was so beautiful. Um, I've never seen anything like it. Um, let's see, we've done a half double crochet. So let's do a single crochet, a chain one, and a single crochet. And again, we're back to doing our repeat. So you see what's going on there? We're making this square. So that's what's happening. It's starting to look pretty. Um, half double crochet. But in any case, it was very um, exciting to see that. And uh, I had booked an appointment to actually get that tattooed. And then I was pregnant. You can't get tattooed when you're pregnant. <laughs> so that is on hold. So chaining two. Chaining two is our corner, by the way. Um, the corner for now. I think this changes a few times before we know what is the actual corner. Um, so two more there, doing a half double again. And then single crochet like that. Chain one and a single crochet in the next stitch. And now we're on the last repeat. See, so we've got our three corners like that. Do this one as well. Oh, getting all tied up in my yarn. Happens to me a lot. Um, okay, so half double crochet, two doubles, one and two, chaining two, and then doing two more double crochets that that's our corner down oh I've got yarn just coming in inside here now um, another half double crochet single chain one and then the final stitch which is a single crochet like that Okay, so that is our round three completed. Now we're gonna have a look a little bit uh, in the next round, which is round four. We can see that we have a few new stitches. We have some back post single crochets, for instance. Um, so for that reason, um, I am going to cut my yarn, do my invisible join, um, but I am not going to fasten my ends. You can fasten them, by going further down in your work, by going into that row, for instance. But I'm still gonna wait. Um, there's no harm in doing that. I'll do just have to fasten four ends next time rather than fastening two, which is fine. It's when I have hundreds that is not fine anymore. I don't know how people prefer to do it, but um, I need to. I think with my new blanket that I made for her, the starfish one, um, she had that in her pram probably about seven months before I even fastened a single end. Um, so <laughs> it didn't really look finished, but I it kept her warm, so I didn't care. Anyways, okay, so that's uh, round three, right? So meet you back here for round four. Hello, welcome back. Um, wasn't that long ago since I saw you though. Um, we are starting round four. It calls for color D and for me that is white. So let's open that up. Shall we? Okay. I'm finding my end here. It's working quite well this uh, recording. My husband helped me build this little thing that he's actually screwed into my desk but because I'm changing everything around and getting a new studio I'm going to be uh, getting a new desk, so screwing things into the desk is actually fine. <laughs> um, I don't think I would have been too happy about it if I wasn't getting a new one. But now it's fine. So it says starting any uh, starting any uh, chain one space. Now the corners have the chain twos, so your chain one is located in between both of your single crochets right there. So that's where you want to start. Okay, right there. So let's do that. And as you can see, this is the first time we're really doing things in uh, in brackets. Um, 
Yes. I'm going to be calling them brackets for both, I guess, because we've used brackets, but they've just been repeats. But any, in any case, these are the brackets when you repeat something in the same stitch, okay? So in this uh, chain one space, a lot of things are going to be happening. So we're going to be doing a half double crochet, two double crochets, chaining two, and then doing the same thing going back. So two double crochets and then a half double. That's all going in that space. Let's get started and see how that goes. So yarning over to do my standing half double and uh, located that chain one pull through all three loops on my hook and then it said two double crochets so we're doing two one and two we're chaining two doing another two double crochets in the same spot all in the same spot this is like that and then a half double crochet like that pull that a bit so i can drop this without dropping my yarn now that's what ha is happening here so as you can see all of that is now in the same spot yeah we've got a little pointy it looks like we're getting another corner now isn't it and now this is the first time we're skipping a stitch and we will probably be quite happy as you notice when you're doing this now if you were to crochet in this this uh, single crochet here, it would be very hard to get uh, get into that stitch because it's all got all of these other stitches now covering it. Um, and that's uh, a lot of times it's called a hidden stitch when it's like this. Um, usually that's in corners, but it's a hidden stitch. Um, and we're skipping that and we're doing back posts in the next three stitches. So we're skipping that and doing back posts in this half double, in the double, and then the next double. So if you remember what I said before, doing a back post means you're going from the back of your work around the post of the stitch indicated. So we're going from the back of our work and going around that uh, half double crochet, pulling up our yarn and doing a single crochet. We're doing it again like that. Pulling it through there, grabbing our yarn, carefully getting it through all the way to the back and finishing the stitch, which is a single. Again, from the back of your work, go around, you can see going around the post, pull up your yarn, carefully get it all the way through, and then finish off your stitch. So what you can see is happening, you're pulling them back and you're actually popping the top of the stitches that we've just done done the, sti the, sti the stitches now around so that's what happens with that okay so we are in our corner and in that corner it's in brackets again and we're doing a single crochet chain two single crochet so not anything really complicated chain two and then a single crochet like that now again we are back to doing back posts so we're doing three back posts single crochets Again, in the two double crochets and in the half double. So let's do that. So we're going from the back of our work, going around the post of the stitch, pulling up our yarn and finishing our stitch. Like that. Mm -hmm. uh, like this. Okay, so we've done three. And now we look at our pattern again. And it says skip stitch and then repeat till end. So uh, we're skipping the next, which is our single crochet here. And then we're back to the, the beginning. We're doing another one of these. So let's just do that together. I'm gonna do one more repeat with you and then I'll let you get off on your own. Okay, so we're going into that chain space and doing a half double crochet, two doubles. Chaining two, right? And then we're doing two double crochets again. Like that. And then finally a half double crochet. Like that. See now what's happening here? Pretty. Now we're skipping the single crochet 
doing three back posts, single crochets, around first the half double crochet, around the double crochet, and around the second double crochet. Back in our corner, we're doing a single crochet, chaining two, and then another single crochet like that. See? Back posts again, so three back post single crochets. One, two, and three. And now, that's it. So we're skipping that stitch and now we're doing this again. So do two, two more of those repeats and then I will meet you back here for round five. Okay, let's start round five. Round five has got the color E, and in my case, that is Blossom. Every name is all of these, don't they have that? Um, cantaloupe and Blossom. Why wasn't that inventive, I must say. But then again, it does explain which color it is. You can't complain about that, can you? Okay, um, again, what I did here, as you can see, I didn't fasten the ends for this one. I fastened the pink ones though, because we're done with that row. So you see what it looks like on the back now. Um, and again, do your little X and your slip knot on your hook. For this one, we've got new stitches again. We're doing a Pico 3A. Um, in this pattern, I've done two different types of Picots. Um, and the only difference between them, uh, the th the number after the picot, so we'll say two, three, five, six, um, is the number of chains you make, and that's the same uh, whether it's an A or a B. Uh, the difference is though where you place after your chain, where you place your slip stitch. Um, I'll go through this with you, so don't worry about it. Um, and we're starting in any chain two space in between single crochets. So where do we have them? Because we've got chain two here, but this is where we have the single crochets, these four, right? So we can pick any one. So let's do that one, and that's where we're gonna start. Again, we're in brackets, so we're doing loads of things in one place. And this starts again with a half double crochet in that space, so. I'm doing my standing ones, I don't know if you're doing chains. Um, boom. Getting stuck in everything all the time. Does that happen to you? It's just me. A little bit clumsy. Okay. I have to um, excuse my clumsiness. Okay. So we've done a half double crochet. Oh, I was about to look at round four there. Now I'm looking at round three. There, five. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. So okay, doing two double crochets like that. One and then two. So half double and then two double crochets. And now this is where we do the Pico 3A. Okay, so the Pico simply, as I said, three, you're chaining three. One, two, and three. Okay, so you're chaining three. And for the A picots, you are going through, let's see if I can get this closer for you. Um, for B ones, you're going through here, but with the A, you're going through your first chain. So you've got one, two, three, going through that chain and doing a slip stitch. So grab your hook, you go through there, grab your yarn and pull through as a slip stitch. That's your picot done. And then in the same place as we've done the others, you do another two double crochets. I'm hoping I'll be able to show you this. Yeah, you can see now. And also a half double crochet, right? Okay, so well, you can see what happens here with the picot. It's this little pointy bit sticking up. Pretty, isn't it? Okay, so you've done your first picot, well done. Maybe you've done loads of them. Now again, we're skipping stitches. So we're skipping this single crochet and we're doing back post half double crochets in the next four stitches, okay? So we have to yarn over for this and these are already back posts. So we're doing back posts in there as well. So going around the post, doing a half double 
If you can hear kids and noise and banging and slamming in the background and the music doesn't cover that, that's my kids. They're at home today, so they make noise. And I am not isolated on an island like Tess, where she has a whole house to herself where she can uh, go out and you won't hear, because her kids are not that loud, so you can hear them from the big house. However, I think with my new studio, it's gonna be a bit better. So I've done three, and let's do a final one. So your fourth and final one should be in this half double, uh, half double crochet in that corner that we did. Let's see if I can grab the yarn this time. But come on, dropping it, dropping it, and dropping it. Let's see, there we go. So we've done four, and now we're doing two back post single crochets and those will be around the double crochets okay so we've done those two like that see what's happening here and um, so we've done that and then we are in the, this two uh, chain two space where we are making a single crochet Chaining two, and then another single crochet like that. There we go. Right now, I think I can hear a bucket outside my door, and my youngest is going to try and get herself in here. She will have slamming on the door, and that's the door handle. I'm not going to open it. Sorry, back to this now. Two back post single crochets in the next two stitches. And now we're doing four back post half double crochets. Like that. One, yarn over. Two. Three. And Okay, so when we've done those four, it says skip single crochet, so skipping that stitch, and then repeat from the start. So let's see what we're doing here now. This is what's happening. So it looks like what we thought were corners are now not corners, and this is cool. It's like, what's going on? So much fun. Um, twists and turns and everything. Okay, so we're doing the picots going like that. So let's do another repeat together, shall we? And I'll focus and not talk about the kids and just talk about the stitches. How about that? Finally is what you're saying. Okay, so let's start with the brackets again from the start. We're doing um, in this chain two space, we're doing, getting our little, getting our ooh, hook in the right place. So we're doing half double crochet, Two double crochets. Do that again. And now we're doing a picot again. So chain three. One, two, three. Going in that first chain, picking up your yarn, doing a slip stitch. Done. Two more double crochets in the same spot. Grab some more yarn if you need. And then a half double crochet in there. Like that. Skipping the next stitch and doing four back post half double crochets. So that's one. That's, oops. No. Apparently just doing one. Or oh, sometimes it is just a little bit tricky. One, two. <laughs> That's three, and then the last one is gonna fall around the half double crochet from the previous round, which is where I haven't fastened my um, ends, so you've got them here sticking out, so let's go behind them and do that. Okay. Like that. And now we're doing two back post single crochets. Post, doing one, 
I'm doing two. And now we're in this corner space. At the moment we have several corners. And in this corner space we're doing a single crochet. Chaining two and doing another single crochet. I hope this is clear enough for you. Um, I think most of this is literally just kind of letting you know what, where to put your stitches as well because it's not actually, the pattern, it looks complicated but it's not that hard. It's more about the fact that you need to place your stitches in the correct places. Uh, if you do that, you'll be fine. So we've done that and we're doing back post single crochets twice. So one and the next stitch two and now we're doing four half doubles so one and two three and four so that's all of them it's not good now we're back so that was our second repeat because we're skipping and let's see what that looks like so see the picots here pointing out nicely they're gonna be used later on very exciting to see how um, we've done two repeats I'll let you get on and do the rest and then I'll meet you back here for round six <laughs> Welcome back for round six. Uh, we're using color D, in my case that is white. Um, and we're starting in a chain two space, and that chain two space is from round three. So it's not from your previous round. So let's locate that first of all, which is the best thing to do. The chain two um, mentioned in the pattern is this corner from round three. So we'll be going in starting here okay so if you can find that that'd be good also note that we'll be we will be doing in this space we'll be doing front post double crochets however they are more like double crochets it's like we're just placing a double crochet here I've uh, I've <clears throat> I've called them front posts because they act more like it and you'll see why when we do the chain that we place behind the picot and you understand what I mean. Um, in this round we will be uh, skipping a lot of stitches however that's not written in the pattern um, because we will be crocheting simply in this chain two from round three and then we are doing V stitches in the chain two space from round five which is here so we're only crocheting in these two spots really and chaining in between you'll see what happens when we start and I'll go with you the whole round for this I think because it's a lot of fun let's get some yarn oh and V stitch uh, did I mention that if I did, I'm gonna be mentioning it again. Um, this is the first time you're using a V-stitch. A V-stitch is simply in the same stitch, you make uh, a double crochet, chain two, and then a double crochet. That's what's called a V-stitch. And also the other stitch that we're making that you haven't made before is the front post double crochet, which is any front post, but it's just a double one. So let's get started. So we have to locate that chain two from round three and we're doing our double crochet there. So I'm going in from the front here around that chain, just like you would if it was anywhere else. I see now I dropped that, that wasn't very good. Let's do that again. Okay, hold that tightly sometimes. Sometimes it wants to run away from me like that once and twice so we've done our first double crochet there and then it says chain four one two three and four and we're placing another front post double crochet another double crochet the same spot again just like that okay so what you have now is this little loop in front of your work and then it says place the chain four behind 
Here we go. You pull that through like that. And that's why it acts more like a front post because it's like we're working here and then we go down. So it looks more like a front post and that's why I've called it a front post. Now we're chaining again and we're chaining full. One, two, whoops, got stuck. One, two, three and four. Only chaining four in all of this, isn't it? Um, I've got my yarn tangled, letting you along for that ride too. And now we're doing a V-stitch in this chain two space right here. Okay, so we yarn over and do a double crochet. Go in that space, double crochet, chain two, and then another double crochet right in the same spot. That's your V-stitch. And that's what is called a V-stitch. There we go. So that's what we're doing. Um, and from that, we're chaining four again. One, two, three, four. And repeating this whole thing again. So doing that front post, or double crochet, whatever you prefer to call it. Like that. Chaining four, one, two, three, four. You're placed behind your picot. Like that. Okay. I mean, you can just keep on crocheting if you don't want to place it straight away, but I think it's more fun to see what's going to be happening. So I do that. Go back in. Another chain full. And a V stitch on top here. For this one, you're basically skipping all of the stitches. One, two, three, four. That's why I haven't written down the pattern because you're just going into these eight places and placing uh, your stitches. That if I was saying skip that many stitches and skip 10, whatever, uh, eight, six, it would just be the people sitting count. Now it's just, you go there and you go to the same spots all the time. So hopefully that's clear. If not, thankfully you have me to guide you. One, two, three, four. And then the same place again. Happening here. Move that yarn. Look at that. Okay, becoming a little bit interesting, isn't it? And what are we doing? We are doing the front post doubles. Like that, um, we will be cutting our yarn. Let's do that. Move that yarn over there. Pull it through, and um, I'm going to fasten that uh, over there. And I will meet you back for round seven. Okay. 
Here we are for round eight. This is where it starts to become a little bit more interesting, I think, and um, playing with spaces and holes. Um, round seven is uh, with yarn A, sunflower. Um, let me find my loose little end here. And I found a knot. Let's <laughs> fix that before we do anything um, else. There we go. Okay, so let's bring some yarn out. Okay, so round seven, we're starting in the NEV stitch. As you can see, I didn't fasten my ends, I just didn't find a good place to fasten them, so I've waited and I can do it later. Um, and in this one, we're doing, uh, again, some uh, a stitch that we have done, just a little tad bit different, um, because we will be making, uh, we will be making clusters but with only two double crochets. So instead of using three like we did in the beginning here, we'll be doing two, okay? We're having a look and see if there's anything else that we haven't done. We've done the front post double crochets um, and front post single ones, I think, have we? Maybe not, maybe that's a new one. But again, it's just a front post with a single. So let's get started. And we're starting in brackets and we're starting in this one here, uh, which is a V stitch. Okay, so again, I do standing stitches because I think it looks neater. If you're chaining, that's fine. You start exactly the way you want it to. So we're doing a two double crochet cluster in this V stitch. So let's start by doing our double crochet, not finishing that. Another double crochet that we don't finish like that. So we have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull all through, pull through all three loops on your hook. And that means that's your first cluster. It's quite a small one, but you will see the effect it will have later on, especially in the next round. Okay, and we're chaining one, another cluster with two double crochets. chaining two, one, two, and then we're doing another cluster, one, two, chain one, and another cluster, okay, like that, okay, so that's what that looks like now, that's what we've done, okay. In this, in this round, you are skipping a lot of stitches as well because we're not going to be crocheting really down in all of this. However, what we're doing now is we're chaining four. So we've done that already once, twice, three, and four times. There we go. And then we're doing a front post single crochet around this double crochet or front post double crochet that goes down into our third round. Okay, so we grab that around the post and do a single crochet like that okay now we are uh, chaining three it looks like I dropped something there yep let me do that again look like I dropped something sometimes when especially when it's chained and stuff I always go back a bit further if I've marked it up so what did we say four right one two three and four, so let's do it again. Front post, single crochet, sorry about that. Chaining three, one, two, three. This is also gonna be placed behind here. And we're doing another front post, single crochet around the next double crochet or next front post. And that third chain, well, chain three, goes behind just like we did last time. Okay, cool. Um, after that, I guess we're chaining four again, aren't we? One, two, three, four. And then we're starting again from the beginning. So let me do one more repeat with you. Um, and then I'll let you finish that off and I'll meet you back for round eight. Okay, so we're doing another cluster, a two double crochet cluster. So one, two, pull through through the three lips on your hook, chain one, another cluster, one, and two, like that, chain two, one, two, 
with a cluster. One, two, chain one. Don't get stuck in your yarn like I do. Did I do a chain one? Yes, I did. We're doing the last little cluster in here. One and two, like that. Okay, so uh, we've done our. Okay, put that behind there. Is that Popped out. Makes it easier. Now we're doing another chain four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Front post, single crochet around that other double crochet. One, two, three. Front post around that one. Placing it all behind the picot, like that. And then chaining four. One, two, three, and four. And now back again to the next repeat. So it should look something like that. See, exciting things are happening now with this pattern. Um, and we're all only at round seven. Isn't that exciting? Okay, well, I'll see you back in a minute and we'll keep going. And we're using color C. Here we are, back for round eight. Almost halfway done with this part already. Okay. So this one is with girly pink, which is color number three. Um, and just to take a minute now, uh, when we get to round eight, we are not gonna be skipping the stitches in the same way that we have done in the previous two rows. Um, we're gonna be chaining in these chains here that we've just made. We're gonna be leaving the white chains over here. They're not gonna be touched. And I think that when it comes to the design here, this is where it starts getting a little bit interesting. And I like doing this. Uh, me and Tess have these discussions a lot. I think we've had them during the podcast as well. She loves uh, finding ways of, of utilizing every single uh, stitch available and seeing what she can do and go back into them and things. Um, whilst I really love creating spaces and holes and uh, playing with the fact that you don't have to use every single stitch all the time. So it is nice that we are so different in this. And this is why this is uh, such a K design, I think. <laughs> and um, that's where we are. So let's just get started, shall we? Uh, we're starting in any corner chain two space. And uh, we've got the picot here. so. This is the corner chain two space. And this is where you're gonna see what we're gonna do with these little clusters that we've got in the corners. Um, kind of the same like here, but they're gonna be popping as well and uh, it's gonna be lovely. So let's start. In that corner, we are doing uh, two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets, and that's gonna be your corner, okay? So let's make that first corner. That's one. Two, chaining two, one and two, and then another double crochet in there, and then the final one. And that's your corner made, okay? Like that. Nothing spectacular about that. Sorry for getting caught in my yarn all the time. Um, by the time I'm finished with this tutorial, all 70 odd rows, I will be a pro at not tangling up my yarn, I think. Um, okay, and now we're doing a front post double crochet around the cluster. So let's do that. So remember, front post, we're going fr from the front of your work around the whole cluster and making a double crochet like that. Then we have that one cha the chain one space in between the two clusters, and that's where we're making a half double crochet. So let's go in and do that. Half double crochet, like that. Pull through all three. And then we're doing a front post half double crochet. So exactly like a half double, but just around that cluster. Yeah? So that's what we got there. After this, we're doing six single crochets around this chain four space. 
Don't worry if it feels a bit cramped or if you think that they don't really um, even out, if you want to say that. Um, we've done three. Let's finish first one. Four and five and six. Because the way that we use them in the next round will even them out. So don't worry about them too much. You can squish them around um, to make sure that they cover your chain space. So when we've done those six, we did six, one, two, three, four, five, six. We start good to double check. We're doing a front post single crochet around that front post single crochet from the last round. So let's just do that. Let's not get caught in the, the other chain. So one front post single crochet. And after that, we're doing three single crochets in this chain three behind your picot. One, two, and three, okay? And then again, we're doing a front post single crochet. And we're back to this chain four. So six single crochets. One, two, three, Double check that because I think I lost count. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. I didn't lose count. That's good. Let's see if it helps if I move my arm over here. You never know. Now we are back to this corner bit here. And what we're going to do is we've done the six single crochets around the chain full space. And then we're doing a front post half double crochet around. around the cluster. We're doing a half double crochet around the chain one space and we're doing a front post double crochet around the next cluster. And now we're back to our corner. And in that corner, we're just gonna be repeating, aren't we? So, I'm gonna do another repeat with you and then go with you. Uh, and actually, no, <laughs> one repeat and then I am gonna leave you to finish it off and then so exciting anyways okay so we've done our corner we've done our front posts we've done our single crochets we've gone the back front post there single crochets and we're back to our corner so let's do this repeat again okay so what are we doing we're doing two double crochets you just double check there my notes one and two and we are chaining two. One, two, and then another two double crochets. Perfect. See, another corner done. And now we will keep on going. We're doing the same thing that we did before. So we're doing a front post, yarn over, do a front post, double crochet around the cluster in the chain one space do half double crochet like that and around the next cluster front post half double crochet we are back to our chain space where we are doing six single crochets okay one two three four five and six and we've done them, we're doing a front post single crochet around the front post single crochet from the last round. Feels like I didn't do that one correct, so let me have a look at what happened there. So it's like I went into the stitch. So let's see, yeah, doing it around the whole body of that stitch. There we go. And then we're doing three single crochets. One, two, and three in your chain three, another front post, single, and now we're back to yet another chain four, where we're doing six singles. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So, Let's do our half front post half double crochet around the cluster. Let's 
let's do a half double crochet chain one space and then to finish off this repeat front post double crochet so there you have it this is where we are right now okay so finish those two sides fasten your yarn and I'll see you here again for round nine Welcome back for round nine, halfway there for this part. Okay, so as you can see, we've ended up with this. And now you can see that this is actually starting to become something, right? Um, for this round, you're gonna need to make sure that your picots are pulled through because we could be working into them as well. Um, we're doing back post double crochets in this. We're doing front post half doubles. Um, back post double crochets, picot uh, three, we're not making any, but we're working into it. But there's a lot, a lot of front posts and back posts in this. And I will show you that when catching your picot, which you're gonna be doing, you can kind of choose how to do this on your own. I mean, it, it is it is down to personal preference. Uh, I'm guessing some people might even wanna go and, and pick it up from here. Um, however, I do uh, want to stretch it just as far as I can. So I try and, um, if you have a look at that, see if I can make it clear, um, catch the two top strands of yarn and go through there. But we'll, we'll get to that. So let's see where we are. We're starting in any uh, corner chain two space and it's getting a little bit clear now where the corners are. So let's start there. We're doing half double crochet, chain two, half double crochet. So yarn over, doing standing stitches still. Chain two and half double and that's your corner made. So that was quick and easy, right? Like that. Um, and now we are doing back post double crochets in the next four stitches. So that will be in your um, two double crochets, in your front post double crochet, and in your half double crochet that's in that chain space. Okay, so those four stitches. We're doing back post double crochets. So one, two. So that's those four done. So that's what that's going to look like, okay? After this, we're actually skipping the next front, uh, the next front post um, half double crochet. And we will be doing back post double crochets in all of these six stitches that we did in the chain. Okay, so skip that one, yarn over, and make your double crochet around the back post. And as I mentioned in the previous round, um, this is where these kind of straighten up a little bit. So you don't really have to worry about if they're a bit jammed together or if you don't think it looks even because it, it all kind of just solves itself, which we're grateful for. Hang on, let me see. One, two, three, left, yes. That's correct. So that's number four. We've done now, okay? Now when we get to this bit, uh, we're gonna be skipping a stitch, we're gonna be working in the picot instead. So you have these three uh, single crochets on the back of your chain here. You can be working into the first one, skipping the second one, and instead working into your picot, and then working into the third one. I've actually got one here that I can show you what it's gonna look like. As you can see, we've got the double crochets coming here. We're gonna be working down so the picot gets all pulled up there because it's the same color. It looks really nice. So that's what we're doing. Okay, so let's keep going. So we've done that skipping um, uh, of that. Oh, we're skipping also this front post single crochet, so I missed that. Skipping that and doing a 
back post double crochet in the first single crochet in that chain like that now we're skipping this one and doing a double crochet in the picot and this is where I set you yarn over and I will be using the two top strands that's where I place it everyone can do this you know you do whatever you think looks best I really like the look of this so that's why I do that um, because it just pulls the whole thing up like that after that we are yarning over and doing another double crochet and as uh, as we said skip that one and you're going in to do it in the back of the next one because it's a back post so I don't forget that there we go and again we are skipping the next front post single crochet and then after that we're doing six more back posts back post double crochets so I always get a bit distracted when I've got the kids outside of my door which I do right now <laughs> this is what it is me and Tess are mothers and we do work from home as much as we can and obviously then that's what happens and that's just life so um, that's what it is isn't it taking you on a little family journey <laughs> whilst you're with me here. Oh, when yeah, I was thinking about that before because I know, noticed I was sitting and singing stuff. I do that a lot, I sit and hum and sing and things and, and I've also found out from the preschools that my kids do the same thing. So they'll sit and be working with some material and <laughs> sitting singing whilst they're counting. <laughs> so I wonder where they get that from, not me. Um, anyways, we've done six now, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, back post double crochets in those single crochets in that chain. We are back uh, in getting close to our corner now uh, and almost finishing this repeat. So let's see where we are. We've done that. We're skipping just like we did over here. We're skipping this stitch here, which is the front post half double crochet. We're doing back post double crochet in the next four, which will be in that half double crochet in the front post double crochet and then in the two double crochets that are your corner that is in your corner okay so let's just do that first double crochet around these next posts here mm -hmm. that's a little yarn it's always good to have mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My throat's still a bit, I've been, I was ill with a flu at Christmas, so my throat's still a bit um, husky, sorry about that. Okay, anyways, so that is our first repeat done, and that's what that looks like, okay? I'll go with you and do one more, and then I'll leave you to it, and I am sure that you'll be fine in finishing this round off all on your own. If not, there's always the rewind button, I'll do it with you again. And I can do it again and again and again. So, let's do the corner again. Okay, so half double crochet, like that, and then chain two, one, two, and then another half double crochet. Corner done. And now we're gonna do four back post double crochets in the next four stitches then. So one, doing two, Three and four. Just realizing, I think I said in the beginning that we're doing front posts and stuff. We're not doing front posts in this. We're skipping front posts in this. Sorry for the confusion if that caused anyone any harm. Um, after that, let's move that a bit. After that, we are skipping the next stitch. So we're skipping the last cluster stitch there. Uh, and then we're doing six more back post double crochets. One. Two. Five and 
finally six. Okay, so we've done that six. And now we've got gone already to this picot part again. So we're skipping the front post single crochet, doing another back post double crochet right here. After that, we're doing a double crochet into our picot. So make sure it's pulled up and you've got the chains behind it catch it from where you want to catch it and I'm going to catch it here and it can be tricky sometimes to actually get it right ah there we go oh not even just hang on yeah there we go and I'm doing a double crochet there skipping that back stitch doing another back post double crochet like that we're skipping the next one, which is around those, uh, that's the front post single crochet, skipping that and doing six back post double crochet in the next stitches. One, two, Just like that, so you've got six there. That's where we are now. Looking around to see if I see my tape measure, and I actually don't, which is a shame because I was gonna measure this net for you. Um, okay, so when we've done that, we are skipping the front post half double crochet, remember? Doing four more back post double crochets. So it's nice because for this round, we're actually getting a little bit more height. Um, we've obviously been uh, doing a lot of back post, even though this is back post, they're, they're a bit lower obviously than just doing a normal um, double crochet. However, uh, sorry, just doing this corner here um, before, even though that's the start of the next repeat. Oh, it's because of that I dropped it obviously. Just muck it up when you just wing it, don't you? Okay, so. So things are happening. If you're thinking, oh, it's not really straight. It's not really supposed to be straight. Uh, you will see this more and more as we work on the design that, you know, working a bit with arches in this case, actually. And um, and again, the spaces and the holes. So Tess would call it negative spaces. I think negative spaces has that negative ring to it. So I just didn't call it spaces. But, um, that's where we are now finish up i'll meet you back here for round 10 and um for round 10 i'll make sure i find my tape measure and i'll actually measure this for you because i do crochet really tightly so just for you to see how far um how many centimeters mine is um we'll do that in the beginning of the next round okay bye Hello, welcome back. We're about to start round 10 with color D, which in my case is white. Um, I said I would find my tape measure and I actually did. Um, and I would say that the square is about in between 10 and 11, probably more like 11 actually. So maybe I've crocheted a little bit looser this time when I'm showing you guys um, how I'm doing this. Um, obviously I haven't blocked this or anything, so it's, it's not very exact. However, I know that the testers had very different measurements, uh, all very much bigger than mine because I do crochet really tightly. However, um, this is what round nine looks like. Tie that together. Um, very pretty. And now, just to feel like a cooking show, I'm going to say this is what I prepared earlier. I'll do this. Uh, <laughs> I, I started doing this um, tutorial yesterday actually and I did this um, but in the middle of that Jolene got really upset and she was sleeping so she woke up in a bad dream so I had to kind of leave and then she didn't sleep very well so I didn't get to finish what I was going to do with you guys so <laughs> I'm doing it this way today so I'm going to 
do the third and the fourth repeat with you instead of starting the round. So now you actually know what we're about to do, which might be quite fun too. Um, as I said, we're starting with, uh, with white, uh, color D. Um, and when it comes to this one, I don't think there's that many um, uh, things that you won't be familiar with. Um, there's a front post um, treble crochet, which is this really long one. And as you can see, what happens here is they, they cover, um, they cover the, the, which round was that? Let's see, 10, 9, 8, 7. So they cover the front post single crochets from round seven a little bit, but you can still kind of see them in the back there, which is, is the point. Um, and um, we're doing that and then also noticing the hidden stitch. So let's just get started. You will be obviously starting the round, so either, you know, fastening your yarn and chaining or you're doing standing stitches um, and I'm just gonna keep on going. So, yarn over, we're doing the corner first, which is a half double crochet, double crochet, chain two, double crochet and half double crochet. So let's get started. Half double crochet, double, chain two, and a double, and then a half double crochet. And that's the corner done. So, not that bad, is it? Now, we're about to do eight single crochets, um, well, in the next eight stitches. And this is where it says in brackets, be careful not to skip the first hidden stitch, because we're not skipping any stitches here. And if you look closely, it's almost like you want to start here, but if you pull at that corner you've just made, you've actually got your first stitch here. So, you kind of have to move that over if they're covering, uh, dig in and find your stitch there, and that's where you do your first single crochet, all right? So that's what that's gonna look like. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, after that eight um, single crochet, we're doing a half double crochet in the next stitch. And now this is where we do our front post treble. So we're yarning over twice this time to make sure that we're making a treble. We're catching it. Um, in the front post double crochet from round six, which is this this one going down here. And this obviously should correspond with the same color as you've chosen. I mean, if you've done your own colorway, this might not be the case. Um, but that was the plan when I did the design. Okay, so we've done a front post, uh, trouble crochet, and after that, we're skipping a stitch, okay? So if you look here, we've just done that. We're skipping that stitch, making a double crochet in that stitch coming up next, okay. So we'll skip that stitch, yarn over. I always have to double check it a little bit. It's always easier when you always look from the back, I think, because here, obviously, it's covered and hidden by that front post. So you kind of go, hmm, which one did I do? Um, in any case, you do a double crochet in the next stitch, um, which will be the one before the one where you caught your picot. We're gonna do three double crochets in the same stitch. So we're doing one, two, and three. Now, for your picot stitch, I'm gonna call it a picot stitch, but even though it's not, it's the, it's the double crochet that actually, the back post double crochet that, that caught. No, it wasn't a back post, it was a double crochet. Oh, I'm just jabbering on, sorry, don't mind me. Um, we're doing a double crochet in that stitch, and then we're doing another picot three. And if you remember, chain three, go into that first chain, grab your yarn and do a slip stitch. And then we're doing another double crochet in the same stitch. Okay, and now obviously we're mirroring, mirroring this going back. So we will be doing three double crochets in the next stitch that one two and three in the next stitch we're doing a double crochet and now we are back to doing our front post treble so yarning over twice 
one two and grabbing that front post double crochet from round six finishing off the stitch and again we're skipping a stitch okay so you can look at the back and you see we've done that we're skipping that stitch and we're doing a half double crochet in that stitch okay and now you should be left with one two three four five six seven and eight stitches and that's where you do your eight single crochets so let's do that and then let's do one more repeat one two Three, four, five, six, seven, and there we have it, eight. So we've done that first repeat. And you can see, obviously, because I've already done two of them, you can see what's happening here. And I think it's fascinating. I'll bring the other one out, actually. I think I mentioned this for the last round, but I think it's so fascinating how much they change with every single round you make because I think this uh, is um, you think it's going to look like this and you go, oh and then you and you get your next round and it just it changes everything in the pattern I think it's very fascinating I'm having uh, I was having fun when I was making this pattern because of that reason actually. Um, okay so we're back to a corner let's do this round uh, this repeat one more time and then you can do the two more and then we'll start round 11. Okay, so corner, doing a half double crochet, double crochet, whoops, then we're grabbing, uh, well, chaining two, grabbing our yarn, doing a double and a half double. And now remember we're doing eight single crochets, but don't forget that hidden stitch, so pull a bit so you make room and you can find it, and it's just like any other stitch. It's just that sometimes they get covered and you miss them. That's why they're called hidden. One, two, three, four, that's five, six, seven, eight, right? <laughs> Let's do, I don't know how I counted that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Half double crochet in the next stitch yarn over twice to do your front post treble crochet like that skip the next stitch and make one double crochet in the next stitch you're making three double crochets following and now you should be right before the middle one which is the one where you picked up your picot round and in that stitch we're doing one double crochet another picot 3a which is one two three chains go into that first chain and do a slip no or slip stitch sorry and then we're doing a double crochet in the same spot now again we're doing three double crochets one two and three and the next stitch we're doing one now we are doing our front post treble so go down and catch that front post double crochet from round six we're skipping the next stitch so that one and we're doing a half double crochet in the next one and we should now be left with and eight and this is what I do that I, I sometimes do check because if I've ma managed to make an error instead of doing those eight that I'm just about to do in a row that usually goes quite quick and having to frog that um, hopefully I can find my error early quickly and mend it and then keep going hopefully I won't end up in too, with too many errors in this one when I'm showing you guys how to make it okay so look at that we're back to the beginning um, and it looks like that when it's done so that's uh, round 10 completed let's meet back for round 11 
welcome back um for this round which is round 11 we're starting with color b um which in my case is cantaloupe um and we haven't used that at all since the second round so this is exciting um i was gonna let you know uh like i was saying before when it comes to fastening your ends and everything um what i did now for instance is i have had a look at uh, round 11 and there's a lot of back posts in there because of that um i decided not to fasten my ends i've just done the um invisible join and pulled the yarn through uh, but instead i fastened uh, my ends from round nine which i hadn't fastened because again i had uh, things that needed to be um back posted and everything like i, I wasn't sure so i'd left that so that's what i do um let's get started on this round shall we and i haven't done the cooking show now so there's no look i made this earlier Okay, so, um, have you guys started using that yet? I'm hoping so. Um, where are we starting? We're starting in any corner. Uh, most of the times you will be starting in corners. Um, makes it easier. Uh, sometimes you might not be though. But we'll see. Well, the first corner, let's start with that. Probably very straightforward. And it is, there's two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. So let's just start off with that. One. Two and then chain two, and then we're doing one and two. Yeah, okay. And now we're doing back posts. And again, this is like that. It's not that hard to. Um, we, we won't really do, do uh, miss any hidden stitches here because you're doing back posts. It's different for that. If you are supposed to miss the hidden stitch, it will tell you that in, in the pattern. So don't worry about it. And in the last round, it was just a little reminder to just make sure now you know where that hidden stitch is. Um, so we're doing a back post double crochet. Is what we're starting off with. Let's do that one. And then we're doing a back post half double crochet. Like that. After that, we're doing back post single crochets in the next eight stitches. Okay, so now you have to be counting. So let's do one, two, three. eight okay it did say it let's count it anyway anyway it's just because uh, so that's the corner and we've got the double and the half double and then we've got one two three four five six seven and eight perfect after this we're chaining one do a little chain and we're skipping two stitches um so that's actually we're skipping and it says that in the pattern it won't all the time but i've been nice here so we're skipping the half double crochet and the front post stitch okay and we're doing a back post single crochet in the next stitch and that will be that double crochet that we did after the front post so doing that so see you're creating a little again creating a little space uh, so that was the back post single crochet. We're now doing a back post half double crochet. Next stitch, like that. Back post double crochet in the next three stitches. So one, two, and three, like that. Now we're skipping the picot like that. And we're doing back post double crochets in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. There we go. So we've done that. So we've done three of them. And after that, we're doing a back 
post half double crochet and then a back post single crochet. So we're doing that single crochet there. So that's what's happened. So you can see now what's happened here from this uh, flat thing here. This is all getting a bit, you know, textured and and things like that. Very exciting and interesting. Can I say that when it's my own pattern? I think it is. Um, let's see. Um, now we're chaining one and skipping two stitches. And again, that's gonna be that front post and that half double crochet. And after that, we're doing back post single crochets in the next eight stitches. We've done that before, haven't we? So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And after that, we have two more stitches there. We're doing a back post half double crochet and a back post double crochet. So let's do that. It's a half and then a double. And see now what's happened is we've done a fast repeat. Look at that. Okay, so I'll go with you for a second one. And then you're on your own. Like a mama bird kicking it out of the nest. Okay, not for the whole pattern. Okay, so let's do a corner. Two double crochets. Chain two, one, two, and then two double crochets. Move my scissors so that I don't make too much noise. Um, and now we had um, one back post double crochet. And then a back post half double. So let's do that. And now we have eight back post singles. So that's my door again. One. that's eight. Um, now we are chaining one and skipping first uh, and second uh, stitches after this which will be your half double crochet in your front post treble. After that we're doing a back post single, back post half double and now if you remember we're doing should be three stitches left before the piquet and we're doing three double crochets. So that is one. That is two. And then a third one. Like that. We're skipping the piquet and just gonna keep on going. Doing the mirror now. And doing three double crochets. So I can hear my youngest daughter outside of my door because she has a tendency to be quiet and think that no one's listening and she goes and gets things. She'll, you know, take the laundry basket and flip it upside down and throw all the clothes on the floor and, and climb up and she reaches and she knows how to lock the doors and unlock them. So after those three double crochets, we're doing a half double and then a single. Uh, and we've completed that middle, middle bit. After that, we're chaining one, uh, skipping two stitches, and doing eight single crochet, or eight back post single crochets. So one, two, three. So 
I've got her outside of my door. I've got the youngest one still here kicking me in my belly. <laughs> Which is okay. They're allowed to do that. <laughs> Not when they get older though. Hurts a lot more. <laughs> Kids everywhere. Okay, so let's do that final one. We should be at eight now. Double check that we can do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, and then we're doing a back post half double crochet. And then we're doing a, a back post double crochet in the last stitch. And that will be the second repeat done. So I'll let you go to finish the rest. You can see now what's happening, getting the details of, of everything. Um, and I'll meet you back in a minute. Bye. Welcome back. We're here for round 12. Um, we're using color A, in my case, sunflower. Um, in this one, um, you will crochet only in the chain spaces and skip all stitches um, so let's do that so that's why in the pattern there won't be a load of skip this skip that because you already know that because I already said that okay slip knot on your hook and let's get started we're starting in any corner like always um, so let's just grab a corner now um, before I begin I've fastened all of my yarn um, and for instance for this one let me see if I can find it I think I fastened it up here um, in round 12 we're not using the stitches uh, we're skipping all the stitches however if you look ahead and see in round 13 um, we will be going down in round 11 which is the one that we just completed so because of that reason um, I've made sure that I've fastened it as far down as possible so back post and front posts are still really easy to do um, so that was just a little note sorry if I get out of breath sometimes this baby is um, is taking up a lot of space at the moment <laughs> so I do get winded a lot uh, let's start we're doing clusters again remember them and we're doing two double crochet clusters in this round okay so we're starting off with a cluster in the corner so let's do double crochet without completing it uh, another double crochet without completing that and then completing both of them together first cluster done you should be experts at this now because I've done so many already in the pattern another cluster like that and then we're chaining two another double crochet unfinished another one and a cluster made chain one and the final cluster for your corner one, two okay so there we're done uh, now we're chaining six And after that, we're doing more clusters. And we're doing them in the chain one space. And you remember in this round where we skipped two stitches and we did a chain one, that's that chain one space. So we're skipping all of those stitches and going into that place and doing another cluster. Like that. And we are chaining how many? We're chaining one. And then another cluster in the same chain one space. Like that. See? Um, and what are we doing now? We're chaining five. One, two, three, four, and five. And mirroring this, so we're doing another um, two double crochet cluster. Chain one, two double crochet cluster. In the next chain one. getting more yarn um, and now we're chaining six again one two three four five and six and that was that repeat done so actually not that complicated um, I'll do 
probably the whole one with you because I think we've got time, haven't we? Let's do uh, from the beginning of the retreat. Cluster, chain one, another cluster. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Doing another cluster in that chain one space. Chain one and another cluster in the same space. And before I chain five, I'm gonna grab some more yarn. When you do this and you have loads of chains and stuff, it actually eats up more yarn than you think. But it is a very nice and simple round. As you can see, what's happening here, we're building uh, with more spaces and things like that. So let's say, see where this takes us. So we're doing another chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Two double crochet cluster. Chain one and another cluster. Chaining six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And now we're back to doing another cluster. So we're already on the third repeat. You can see that this goes pretty quickly once you've got your speed up. Um, and other than this, don't worry if it's too tight. I mean, don't have to crochet your chains so tight that they, you know, pull everything together. We don't have to worry about them too much because it all kind of sorts itself out in the end anyways. Um, so you don't have to worry. I think that's what's nice with the fact that the testers and me, uh, how different actually the size, they haven't worried about the gorge or anything like that. And um, they've just crocheted two, three, and actually, even though the sizes are so completely and utterly different, it really doesn't matter. The blankets look absolutely lovely in all of the sizes and it's done with the same yarn and actually the same hook size and they're that different in size. That just proves how different we all crochet and which is just a very interesting thing when you think about it that uh, that we just we do it so differently one two three four five and no one's doing it you know the correct way or the wrong way it's just we're all that different so don't worry too much I mean obviously if you've got really really loose tension you might run out of yarn <laughs> that's, that's about it but um, other than that Six. It's not gonna. Your blanket's not gonna look bad if you've got loose tension, and it's not gonna look bad if you've got tight tension. It's gonna look beautiful. There we go. Second cluster of that last corner. Chain two. Oh, you can't see. This is eating up yarn like crazy. Um. Last one. Six, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Hopefully I'll finish all of this before the baby comes. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Don't worry though, I'm not gonna leave you hanging in the end. Can I make sure I'm done? Chain one, second cluster in that chain one space. It is uh, one thing I do find with this pattern though is that um, once you've done a repeat or two, one, two, three, four, five, um, you kind of remember what to do. Which is also a dangerous thing because that's when you kind of just don't look at the pattern, just go, and then <laughs> when you're doing the next one, you go, oh no, 
I missed a stitch. Well, I did that. Why did I do that? I've done that a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're done. And as you can see, it kind of pulls it up, but don't worry about that too much. It's going to be fine. I mean, I've been also, when I did a design, I did a lot of blocking now and again, simply because I crochet tightly as well. And so you can block whenever you want, really. But if I do block, I will let you know. Um, I'm not going to leave you without letting you know what I'm doing. So fasten your ends, and then I'll meet you back for round 13. Welcome back. We're about to start round 13 uh, with color C, in my case, girly pink. Now this uh, is a little bit tricky this round. Only when you get to this part here, it's a little bit tricky. Um, you'll actually be crocheting both in round 11. So if you remember, um, that's that uh, one in cantaloupe there. Um, and also in previous round so I'll guide you though so you will be fine but you just need to pay attention where to put your stitches and that's the thing with this pattern that usually the actual stitches are not complicated is where you place them that kind of uh, makes it tricky okay so let's start with um, any corner so we'll just grab a corner um, and we're doing two double crochets Now we're doing a treble, so that's yarn over twice. First time we're doing that, I think. Um, and then we're doing a chain two, like that. Treble. And then two double crochets. Okay. After that, it says front post double crochet around cluster. So let's do a front post double crochet. In the chain space we're doing a double crochet. Like that. And then another front post double crochet around the second cluster. So as you can see pops them very nicely. It's so nice you can see how <laughs> compared to what they look like when they're just like that. Pop lovely. Um, okay, and now we are in a chain space. In that chain space, you see in brackets what you're about to do. So just have a look at that. You can see that you're doing four double crochets, you're doing one treble, you're chaining one, doing a treble, and then four double crochets again. So let's do that. Four double crochets, that's one, two, Three and four. Now we're doing a treble. Like that. One, two, finished. Chaining one. Doing a treble. Whoops, getting caught. And then four double crochets. We should be at the next cluster space. We're doing the same thing that we usually do around the clusters. We're making them pop by doing front posts around the whole cluster. So let's start by doing that. We're doing a front post DC for both of them and also a double chain, uh, <laughs> double crochet in the chain space in between them. So like that and then double crochet again. Oops, dropped that one. That. Okay, so let's have a look at this tricky part before we begin. You could obviously use stitch markers for this if you need to, I don't think you do. Okay, it says now, please note that you will now crochet in round 11 and in the chain 5 on the back, okay, where indicated. So, 
It first says skip two stitches and that means that we're skipping two stitches in round 11. And the clusters that are around that chain one, they cover the first stitch. Okay, so that's the hidden stitch. We're skipping that, we're skipping the next one. After that, we're doing a back post single crochet in this stitch here, which is, um, I'm pretty sure, a double or back post double crochet. After that, we're doing a little mini repeat, um, which is we're doing um, jumping up to the chain, making one double crochet here, going back down here and doing a back post double crochet in round 11. Doing that again, so up to uh, the chain five, back down again in round 11. After we've done that, we're gonna be in the chain five, make one uh, treble crochet, pico 3a and a treble crochet. After that, we are going back again so we're doing a back post double crochet in that the next stitch in round 11 double crochet in the chain back post double crochet in chain in, in round 11 uh, double crochet in the chain that's the twice that's that really little repeat after that it's a back post single crochet in the next stitch in round 11 skipping the next two stitches and we're back to the cluster so let's see if we can make that happen okay as you can see, it's just that you need to read everything carefully, and that's uh, why I'm here as well. So we're skipping those first two stitches, right? And after that, we're doing a back post, single crochet in the next stitch. So let's do that first, like that. After that, we're doing a double crochet in the chain. Do you see that? Let me drop it, so yarning over picking up the chain and going around that. Whoops, not doing a half double, doing a double, double crochet. Next stitch, you know which one that is, we're doing a double back post double crochet, round 11, yarning over and doing another double crochet in the chain. And the last double crochet, well back post double crochet, 11, like that okay so you only kind of really see the front post ones the other ones cover as well but uh, on the back you can see we're working in the chain as well now that we've done those we want to do our treble and the picot um, sorry I think that was a bit of banana <laughs> um, we're doing a treble so um, let's, uh, blah, 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 sorry, lost my train of thought there. Thank you, banana. Uh, <laughs> you have to snack a lot when you're pregnant. Bananas are good, not just for monkeys. Okay, so a treble in that chain, uh, five space, doing a picot 3A, so chain three. One, two, three. Chain three, and then So that's in that chain, okay? So it'll look like that now. When we've done that, we're doing a back post double crochet down around 11 in the next stitch, really. So you're just following along, so you're not skipping anything unless it says so. Back post, doing a double crochet in the chain. Like that. And then another back post. and then another double crochet in the chain. After that, we're doing a little tiny back post, single crochet, right like that. And now we're skipping those last two stitches and we're back to crocheting in round 12. So front post around the cluster, front post double crochet, double crochet in the chain, and that's a double front post, double crochet. God, I'm, all of these front post, back post, this, that, the other. <laughs> it's tongue twisters. Um, 
And now we're back to this chain here. And obviously again, we're mirroring this, this over here. So we'll be doing four double crochets. Oops, four. Travel. Chaining one, another travel, round the chain. And then four double crochets. One, two, feel the yarn pulling at me. <laughs> I need a yarn bird, I think. And then to finish off this repeat, we're doing um, a front post double crochet around the next cluster, the crochet around the cluster, oh, around the chain, and then under the front post double crochet. Like that. So that is the first repeat. Let's have a look what it looks like. So you can see what's happening here, uh, building out, you know, making all these little edges here and pointy corners and things so I'll go with you one uh, repeat more and then I'll leave you to it okay so see what's happening here it's pretty yeah okay so let's do this I'm gonna get some more yarn here before I start off um, Okay, so let's start this round. Uh, we'll just repeat again. So we're doing two double crochets, one treble, chain two, one treble, and two double crochets. So let's do our next corner. So that's one and two. And then we're doing our treble. That chaining two. Another treble. And then two double crochets. Round these clusters, round all of the clusters and all of this round actually, it's front post double crochets. Okay, so let's start with the first one. Front post, double, double crochet around the chain space in between the clusters. And then finally, front post double crochet. Now you can see now how that corner looks couldn't see that with the first repeat obviously but it looks pretty doesn't it okay so we're in this uh, chain six space where we're making full double crochets one treble chaining one and then mirroring that so one And that will be that little chain done. We're back to a, a cluster, so we're doing front post double crochet around that, double crochet in the middle, and then front post double crochet again. And now we're back to the tricky spot. So um, I'm just going to do it. If you need, <laughs> you need to follow it very, very carefully. Um, have a look at the first one. I'll still be talking though. Just don't worry about it. More yarn. Okay, so we start off by skipping two stitches. So we're skipping that hidden stitch and the next one. Then we're doing a back post single crochet around the next stitch from round 11. Now we're jumping up, doing a double crochet up in that chain. We're doing a double crochet, back post double crochet in round 11. Double crochet up in that chain and then another 
back post double crochet in round 11. So that's that little mini repeat that we've done. After that, you do one treble crochet in the chain, like that. Picot three A, so chain three, go through that first chain and pull through the slip stitch. And then we're doing another treble in that chain, okay? After this, look closely again at your pattern. So we're doing a back post double crochet in the next stitch of round 11, like that. Double crochet in your chain, back post double crochet down around 11, double crochet in the chain, and now doing a single crochet, or back post single crochet down around 11. And now we're skipping the next two stitches. Doing a front post, double crochet around your cluster. Double crochet in the chain and then the front post, double crochet again. We're back to that chain six where we're doing four double crochets. Double crochet, whoopsie, drop me on. Double crochet in the chain. And then another front post. Double crochet around the last cluster. And that's your second repeater. This is already getting too big to show you the finished and completed ones. Let's see how we get on with this. If I zoom out even more, you won't be able to see what I'm doing, but we'll probably be able to finish this anyways, right? Okay, so well done guys. Um, do the third and the fourth, and I'll meet you back for round 14. Oh, before we um, head over to round 14, uh, this will be one of those uh, times, well actually one of the few times, when we're actually using the same colour for the next round, round. So if you do not want to fancy your ends um, and cut your yarn, uh, that should be fine. Um, but just so you know, we are using the same colour. Hey and welcome back. Um, we're about to do round 14. Uh, we're using colour C, which is the same one we had for last round. Um, and with this whole round actually, you won't see on the front because all we're doing is creating chain spaces on the back of your work that you will crochet in later. So, uh, we're gonna start off by making these. So, start off by making uh, while attaching your yarn. I, as you can see, even though it's the same colour, I did uh, cut my yarn and fasten my ends, and everyone does this uh, differently and do what you prefer, but I do prefer doing this. I don't really know why, but I just do. Um, and as you can see, this is what round 13 looks like. I think it's very, very pretty. Anyways, okay, so we're starting in any corner. Uh, chain two space. We're doing loads of slip stitches in this and a back post slip stitch. So we're, you know, to basically doing slip stitches around the post from the back. So let's start off by doing now instead. Well, this is, I guess, this is standing just a slip stitch, chaining three, one, two, three, and doing a slip stitch. That's in that corner space. Um, and let's see. We've done that now. Uh, we're chaining three, one, two, three. Uh, we are skipping 
the next stitch which is that first treble, well the treble that you have there doing a back post uh, slip stitch around the next uh, the next stitch and now we've got a tiny little repeat in brackets um, we're doing a chain two chain two we are skipping two stitches and then we're doing a back post slip stitch okay whoops dropped it there counting again that's the one doing a slip stitch doing this for the second time so chain two skip two stitches slip stitch around the next one and again for the third time chain two skip two stitches and your slip stitch should now be around that treble in uh, that chain space that you crocheted loads of stitches in okay so after that we're doing a chain two one two we're skipping that chain one and doing another back post slip stitch in the next treble so like that after this we've got another repeat so we're doing um, chain two again basically doing the same thing as here but skipping two stitches and doing another back post keep dropping them back post slip stitch I just well oh, come on I just put hand lotion on my fingers maybe that is why is are you joking seriously come on let's do this now there we go <laughs> and then we're chaining again uh, like that skipping to and crocheting the back post lip stitch in that base there I think we did it correct now didn't we did we do too many you should now be in the double crochet in between the two well, this is correct in the two clusters just before the middle of the round see very helpful little note that I've made there so we are correct in that you've done that so what it looks like hard to see with these uh, with it being the same color but you can see you've got these little these little chain spaces on the back um, that you'll be using later on okay so for this now we're doing a chain two but now we're skipping four stitches so one two three and four um, we're doing a back post again slip stitch around what will be a double crochet that you did in the chain okay like that then we're doing a chain three one two and three skipping four stitches and the picot so we're skipping those next two stitches the picot and the next two stitches again one and two so the stitch that you should be landing in now again is a double crochet that you did in your chain so let's do a back post single there like that there we go after that we're chaining two we're skipping four stitches again so one two three and four and the next stitch should be this one again that's in between those clusters that's in that chain so let's do a back post slip stitch through that one <laughs> are you having fun with the pattern i hope you are uh, <laughs> we've uh, let me see in my pattern where we are um, we've skipped four stitches and we've done that so now we're doing another repeat uh, twice so we're doing chain two skipping two stitches one two and doing back post slip stitch chaining two so this is the second little mini repeat and doing skipping two stitches doing a back post slip stitch and you end up in that treble um, when we are at that treble we're doing again a chain two we're skipping that chain space and doing it straight away in the next treble and now we've got three little tiny repeats so we're chaining two skipping two and doing a back post single crochet in the next stitch should be getting the hang of this now chaining two skipping two back post sing, uh, slip stitch chain two skip two 
skip. And we'll skip one and two. Is that correct now? Yes. Doing that. That. And for the final one, we're chaining three. One, two, and three. Like that. Skipping the next stitch, which is your treble. And we're back at the corner. So let's do this. Uh, the next repeat, I'll do it with you as well. And then after that, you can go off on your own and do all these back, these back post slip stitches. Okay, so let's start, start this again. So slip in the corner, do a slip stitch. Chain three, one, two, and three. And then go through with another slip stitch in the same spot. Chaining three again. One, two, three. Skipping just the one stitch. And doing a back post slip stitch in the next one. Now we're doing that mini repeat. So chain two, skip two stitches. Back post slip stitch. Chain two, skip two stitches. And again, a back post slip stitch. Last one, chain two, skip two stitches. You should now be at your treble, at your treble. And, oh, don't laugh at me too much, or maybe that's a good thing that you're having fun. <laughs> back post slip stitch around that treble. Um, and again, we're doing a chain two, skipping that one chain space and doing back post treble in the next slip stitch. We've got a mini repeat of two repeats, chain two, skip two stitches, back post slip stitch, chain two, skip two stitches and back post slip stitch. And now you should be in between your clusters like that. For this, it's a bit different. We are chaining four, one, two, three and four. No, we're not, sorry. we're not and for that we are chaining two one two but we're skipping one two three four stitches um, you should be in a double crochet at the back of that chain and when we've done that we're chaining three one two and three again we're skipping four stitches plus the picot so one two picot three and four you see, skipping that one, two, three, and four, and the picot. Going into the next stitch, which is again gonna be a stitch in the back chain um, that we've done. Um, and then we do a chain two, skipping four stitches again, one, two, three, four. And again, you should be in between those clusters. So now we're just doing all of that again. You remember you're doing Chaining two, skipping two, back post slip stitch. Chaining two, skipping two, back post slip stitch. And we're chaining two, skipping the one chain, and then another back post slip stitch in the next stitch. Chaining two, skipping two, back post slip stitch, chaining two, skipping two, back post slip stitch, should be between your clusters, chaining two, skipping two, and back post slip stitch, chaining three, skipping one, and we're back in our corner. So, you guys keep going and I'll meet you back for the next round. There we go. Look at that, you can see, you can do, you can see. Something's still happening with the front of these. They look a bit different than this. These are a bit more flat. Now there's more structure in this always because we're pulling back the posts with our uh, back post lip stitch. That's what it looks like. See you next week.
Hello and welcome back for round 15. Um, you see that everything is like kind of crammed to my, my screen now, like this no more room. <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna have to move things out of there so that we can fit everything in, like um, <laughs> scissors and stuff. Okay, and all of these. Now for this round, this is exciting. First of all, we're using um, a new color that we haven't used, which is color F. And in my case, that is eucalyptus. Um, dusty on that. So uh, this lovely green, I think this is uh, really beautiful. There we go, that's that one. Um, now for this round, um, when I was going through this before um, doing this tutorial bit, I actually decided to use stitch markers. Uh, and I'll explain why. If you do look at your pattern, it says very clearly that in this round, well, you you will only be uh, working in the chain spacer that we just made in round 14, unless clearly stated, and therefore the places that are not actually the chains are underlined. Everything else is in the chains, okay? So do keep that in mind. Um, and if you look further down, when we've done our corner, which is uh, actually the biggest uh, part of, of this round, we will be doing things in repeats. So we'll be repeating five times, we'll be repeating the same thing in the chains. And therefore, after I've done my corner, I've marked the fifth uh, little chain space so I know when I've done those five. So instead of having to count them, um, we can just keep going and then, oh, that's the final one. And then we've got the middle part. Uh, which is in three, uh, in those three chain spaces here around the middle. And then again, we've got this five repeat. So I've put another stitch marker when that five repeat is, and that fifth repeat is is, uh, is done. So that's what I've done. I've done that all the way around. So I've got stitch markers, as you can see, just before the middle bit and just before the end bit. So there we go. Should we get started? <laughs> There's one that I didn't use. Put that back in the door pretty box like that okay so let's get some yarn out uh, be exciting i've said this before it's gonna be so exciting to see what colors everyone's chosen we had uh, a live today um and uh, we talked all about the blankets and, the and there we have it those two repeats are done did you follow just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I have not done these two repeats for you. You've not missed anything. However, these uh, little stitch markers that I now have you know, released from their cage, uh, they make so much noise. So I decided to finish uh, two repeats and to get rid of some of that noise and actually do the third and the fourth repeat with you instead. And now, which I think is kind of a nice touch, you can actually see what you're about to do. So it looks like this. Maybe I'll keep doing this for the next rounds that I've done two repeats and then let you come along for the third and the fourth instead. Um, so you can see we're creating these flower, like these um, uh, these leaves uh, behind our work. So it's getting layered now uh, a little bit differently, which is, I think, very exciting. Um, now things are really starting to happen. You can see these uh, repeats of five here. You can see that they're just, uh, we're doing three single crochets in all of them. And then you have these corners in the middle bit that pop out a bit more. So um, let's get started. The one stitch that you haven't used before, kind of used before, but you haven't used before in this uh, pattern is the double crochet two together that we'll be using to connect this second and third chain. Um, uh, second and third chain, chain two and chain three. Um, basically, they're just like a, a, a 2DC cluster because you make a double crochet that you don't finish and in the next chain space, the same thing and then you um, finish them off together and that will connect these two chains. Your starting chain uh, for your corner is the first um, chain two space before a corner. And you remember we had a chain three there and also on either side of that so that will be your starting one okay so that chain two space right after your two clusters here okay um, as we're not starting this round with a standing stitch it's easy to just follow along from here even though I've already done two repeats 
because it's exactly what it says in the pattern. Now make sure you know when it's underlined, it's not the chain spaces that we're crocheting in. But let's start now. Okay, so we're doing it uh, with a slip stitch, chaining two, doing a double crochet, and then doing a treble, okay? And to connect these two chain spaces, we're doing our DC2 together. So yarn over, don't complete that double crochet, yarn over, go into your next chain space like that, don't complete that either. Grab your yarn and go through all three loops on your hook. That's gonna look like that, okay? So you can see that it connects these two chain spaces here now with that DC2 together. So, in this next chain space, uh, chain, chain three space even, we're doing a half double crochet, we're doing a single crochet, and then we're doing three half double crochets. So one, two, and three. Okay, like that. It's gonna get, not really cramped, but it is gonna get a bit tighter in these. After this, you can see it's underlined. It says we're doing a front post single crochet around this slip stitch you did in your corner. So like that. And now we are in what was previously our corner, well, the middle of our corner this time. And in that, we're making three half double crochets. So one, two, and three. We're doing a double crochet, still in the same place, and then another three half double crochets. So one, two, and three. You can hear the stitch marks a little bit. I will be, you know, taking them out, so soon you won't hear them. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, again, whoops doing a front post single crochet around that slip stitch that we had in our corner. Okay, and then we are an, at another three, uh, chain three space where we're doing three half double crochets, one single and one more half double. Okay, so let's start doing three half doubles. Yarning over, putting through all three, three loops on your hook, which you should know by now unless you started on this round and then you'll be a bit confused. Uh, so one, two, three, and then that single, we're doing another half double crochet. And again, to connect these two, we're doing another DC2 together. So grab your yarn, don't finish that. And then again in the next space and finish them together. Again, you have that. Okay, in this same space, we're doing a treble, like that one treble, doing a double crochet, and after that, chaining two, slip stitch in the same chain two spot, like that, and that's your corner made. Okay, so well done. You've done your corner, and now we're gonna keep doing that. Uh, if you remember I was saying, you repeat things five times, and it's as simple as, if you don't get tangled in your yarn, just three single crochets in every chain spot. So let's do that. Simple enough. One, two, three. And again, one, two, three. And again, let's find the next chain spot. One, two, three. The next chain, one, two and three. And now we are already at that fifth one, so let's take that stitch marker out and do the last single crochets. One, two, and three. Um, and I mean, you don't need to use stitch marks if you think it's a pain. Um, I, I just think it's a nice touch. Um, and obviously when you're not recording, it's not gonna, the noise isn't gonna bug you as much. So let me get some more yarn. So as you see, we've done already 
this the, the corner part here and this here so I think really lovely so now we've got this middle part so we've got three chains that we're crocheting in um, that we're doing something different so in both of these two they mirror each other obviously because we're doing things quite symmetrically and the first one we start with two double crochets one and two then we're doing a half double crochet and a single crochet in the middle one here which is that uh, chain three space I think we're doing one single, one half double crochet, one double crochet, oops, chaining one, doing another double, another half, then another single. And now obviously we're doing the same as that one, but just mirrored. So we'll start off with a single, doing a half double and then two double crochets like that. Now we're back to the repeat again. So we're doing three uh, single crochets in each of these five chain spaces. So let's just keep going. One, two, three, one, two and three. We're doing one, two, three, one, two, and three. And already we're at that fifth again. So take your stitch marker out if you've used them and do the final three single crochets. And that was your first repeat. So actually, it wasn't probably as bad as you thought it was going to be. But look at how beautiful it turns out. I think it looks very, very, very pretty. So let's do that one more repeat again together. Um, which will be my final. Maybe it's your second. We'll see. So we should be at that chain two before the chain three in your corner just after your two clusters. Okay, so let's start with a slip stitch, chain two, double crochet, and then a treble. We're connecting these two chains with a DZ2 together. Like that, okay, remember? Uh, when we've done that, we're doing one half double crochet, single, and then another three half double crochets in the same spot. A little bit tight, you just have to make it work. Like that. And now we're doing a front post single crochet around that back post lip stitch that we did in the corner that we started off our work with. Um, after we've done that front post single crochet, we're doing three half double crochets, one double crochet, and then three half doubles again. So let's just keep going. So that's one, two, three, and then one double. One, two, and three again everything is mirrored so that's why I usually like, I actually find even though this might look like a complicated pattern I find it very interesting that once you've done one or two repeats you kind of remember in your head what you're about to do uh, so it's not that um, I think it's fun but it's also a danger in that because you might miss something and, and actually not do it correct and that's when your stitch count goes off isn't it so we're doing a front post single crochet around that again so it's around that corner see um, and then we're doing again loads of half double crochet so let's do three of them first of all one two and three we're doing a single crochet and then another half double crochet connecting these two chain spaces here 
with uh, DC two together, so double crochet two of them. You pull them together. Oops. Um, and we are our home home stretch now. I was about to say almost, almost, aren't we? Um, so we've connected them. I just heard a very loud no, no. My kids did something they probably shouldn't have. I bet you it was Jolene. <laughs> he usually is. Okay. Um, and in this one, we're doing, we've done that two together. Sorry, I really lost my train of thought there. Um, we're doing a treble. We're doing a double crochet, chaining two, and then doing a slip stitch. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> so let's see, hopefully I, I didn't muck it all up now because of that. If so, I'm going to play Jolene. Okay, so we've done our second corner here. After we've done that slip stitch, um, we're again doing those five repeats. So it's just three single crochets in the next five chain two spaces. So one, two, and three. Next chain space, one, two and three next chain space one two and three and then the last two so we're doing one two and three and then we're already at that stitch marker so let's get rid of that um, and do our final three single crochets in that space now we're in in that middle bit again um, and if you remember, we did two double crochets. Even if you don't remember, just look at your pattern <laughs> or your chart, whatever is working for you. Um, and then a half double crochet and then a single. We're in that middle bit and we're building to the middle. So we start low with a single, go on to a half double, go on to a double, chaining one and then we go down again with double whoops dropped it let's do it again um a double half double and then finally a single crochet in the same space we go over here we do a single crochet half double crochet and then two double crochets and that's your middle part done and then for the final thing that we have to do is another 15 stitches, another 15 single crochets. See how I did that? I counted three times five is 15. And we are off. So let's do one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Next space, one, oops, two, and Three. Then next space again. One, two, and three. And then we have the final one, which I didn't have to mark because obviously this is where I started. One, two, and three. That means we've just completed our round 15. So I'm going to cut my yarn. No, I'm not. I'm going to cut it now. Put it through. Uh, I will probably fasten this and for the next one I'm not sure I'm just gonna fasten it and I'm not gonna tie my ends I'm gonna wait now to tie my ends because I know that we're gonna be crocheting in these later on not for the next round but for round 17 so leave that for now is it 17 maybe 18 no 17 we're done my goodness <laughs> we only have two more rounds and then we've actually finished part one i didn't realize <laughs> okay that was a bit, bit of a surprise for me but okay so as you can see i might turn it like that and it's a bit uh you can see a bit see everything's going out of screen now it's already too big um and if you've got to lose attention to me it's going to be even bigger than that exciting stuff yeah so two more rounds to go um and um i'm going to stop stop talking now and let you 
uh, get on with this. For the next round, we're using two colours. Remember that, two colours. We're doing the famous toffee popcorn that are not only tasty, but they do look very pretty. See you back soon. Welcome back for round 16. Uh, second to last round of this first part, which is just absolutely amazing um okay so actually to prepare you a little bit and make it easier i have done the first two repeats on this one as well just like i did last time um although not because of any stitch markers just because of the fact that it will probably make it easier for you to understand it okay in this round we are using two colors for me that is color e which is uh, blossom and then also color a which is sunflower um, we're using color a only in the toffee popcorns that are placed in the middle and in the corners uh, the toffee popcorn is probably the trickiest stitch that you're gonna have to do um, although if you've changed colors before um, in your work you probably won't think it's that tricky uh, but I will go through it with you step by step so don't worry about it um, you will be crocheting on the back you'll be starting um, by making a back post slip stitch uh, right around gets a bit cramped in this one around that front post uh, was it a front post no it was a, around that back post slip stitch well actually around the slip stitch isn't it that was in the corner okay from round what is that 14 with the chains so you're going around that chain you know that you did the front post single crochet and that's what it is sorry um, and that's where you start but we're gonna we're gonna start there as well so don't worry about it after that you're gonna be doing chains and crocheting in the front of your work when you've done your popcorn you're gonna make another chain and fasten that as well on the back and make another chain that goes behind the, behind the back so if you can see I haven't fastened the ends in this yet which is why there's ends everywhere because obviously you'll have more ends when you're changing color but as you can see fasten it in the back the chains go in front I've got another chain here in the back and then you can see all of these picots that we're making here. And the, this is like the flower power round because we've got flowers here, see? Um, and these toffee popcorns are also actually more like flowers because they look like a flower that's about to go into bloom, open up and be all lovely. In any case, should we get started? We're starting off with uh, color E. <coughs> excuse me um, and we're starting off with a back post slip stitch around um, that uh, corner slip stitch from round 14 okay so to do that easiest thing if you look on your back you know those chains you made just go in between them and do a back post slip stitch okay like that so you fasten that after that you're doing a chain three and when it says push the corner to the back and crochet around it it means because you're you're not actually crocheting here you're pushing that back and crocheting in this chain two space from round 13. so we're actually gonna dig in there and now we're going to be doing our toffee popcorn so now you have to pay close close attention okay so every popcorn I'll make a normal one first, um, just to show you. A popcorn consists of five double crochets, okay? So in this space you would do one, two, three, four and five soon. There we go, five. And a popcorn, when you've done that, you drop your loop put it out a bit so it doesn't you know uh, it doesn't get frogged you go in through the first of the five double crochets you've made pick up your yarn again and go through that there 
okay? That pushed all of them together as a popcorn, you close it with a slip stitch like that. That's a popcorn made, okay? That is what we're doing as well. However, we're making a color change in the middle. So the third of the five will be in sunflower. And how you make this is you start off by doing your double crochet. And I know that Tess during your live said, if you want to make a normal popcorn, that's fine. It's not, you have to make it like this. I've decided so. Anyways, <laughs> you do one complete um, double crochet. The second one, you don't complete, okay? You only do the first, uh, first part of it. And then you grab the second colour of yarn, catch that and pull that through instead. Okay, so you finish the second one with the second colour. Now, with your fingers, you, I would hold these other um, the strands of yarn so you don't lose this so it doesn't get too loose, okay? Now you're doing your third popcorn with this new colour, but because we're changing colours again, again you're only doing half of the stitch, like that. So you've got two loops on your hook and again we're changing back. So change your yarn and you pull through your first colour because that means you complete the whole double crochet in yellow or your second colour and the next stitch will be your first colour for this round. Okay so then we do, we finish this now, do another two double crochets and that would be five double crochets. I pulled that out, go in through the first of my five double crochets, pick up my yarn again, pull it through and then I do uh, another chain on that just to close the stitch. That's it. And it will look like this, okay? So you see, it's almost like, if you know some of those roses who that, that have, um, you know, that extra bit of color in there that they're not just one color. They're like that. After this, let's, we're going to be doing two, actually one, two, three, I'll be doing three more popcorns. So if you didn't get it that time, don't worry about it, we'll keep going. Um, after that, you do another chain three, one, two, three. So you don't actually include the one you closed your popcorn with, you're doing three, so in total you're doing four, okay? Um, after that, we're doing another back post slip stitch in the same spot, corresponding with one that you just did before where you attached your yarn. So around that uh, back post slip stitch from round 14. Um, okay. Well, the second corner slip stitch, sorry, from round 14, that makes more sense. Um, okay, now we're chaining five. One, two, three, four, and five. And this chain will go on the back of your work. Now we're doing all of those picots, okay? So we're gonna start off, we're gonna be working in these 15 uh, single crochets that we have. We start in the first one by doing a slip stitch, okay? Whoops, simple enough. And as you want the chain on your back, kind of push that forward before you pull through. So we've done one slip stitch, okay? And after this, we've got to repeat uh, uh, three times of a picot 3A and then slip stitch, slip stitch. So we're going to start off with a picot 3A. And uh, if you remember, we've done this one before. Chain three and then slip stitch through the first chain. Then we've got a slip stitch. Oops, dropped my yarn. We've got a slip stitch and another slip stitch. Okay. Now that's doing the second repeat now of this. So, Pico 3A, slip stitch, and slip stitch. Doing it one more time, one, two, three, slip, slip stitch through first chain, and then 
slip stitch and a second slip stitch. After that, we're doing a Picot 6A, which is basically just the same thing, just with a longer chain. Okay, so we're just chaining six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, going through that first chain there and doing a slip stitch, okay? Difference now when we're doing this Picot 6A is we're skipping the next stitch and doing a slip stitch in the next one, which is part of the next repeat where we're doing this but in reverse. So slip stitch, slip stitch, and then a Picot 3A. Mirroring this to make it all nice. So again, we're doing a slip stitch, slip stitch, and then a Picot A, 3A. Final one is a slip stitch, slip stitch, and then chain three, complete your picot 3A. And then we've done with those repeats, and then we do another slip stitch, okay? So that would be in your last single crochet of those 15. This is where you also notice if you've actually, if your stitches are right or if you've missed one in, in there. Um, uh, not a very happy surprise. You can cut, uh, by the way, now I usually do it a bit later when I need it again. Cut your other yarn, you fasten it later. And hang on, let me show you. That chain ended up in the wrong place. There we go. There we go. Um, okay, so we've done all of those uh, little uh, flowering flower buds here which will look really pretty. We're gonna be covering them later in the next round. Very exciting. Okay, so we've done that slip stitch. Now we're chaining three. One, two, three. And we're doing a back post slip stitch just in the same type of way we did in the corner here, but, but this time in the middle of the side, okay? And I dropped my yarn. So again, this is also a little bit clearer because you can see things a bit easier when you get to that part. Okay, but this time we're chaining four, okay? Chaining four, one, two, three, four. And now we're ready for our second uh, toffee popcorn. This one is gonna be placed all the way down in round 11. And that was with my color B, which is cantaloupe, or as Tess said in, in our live today, cantaloupe very cute um, <laughs> but we're doing it down here in between those you can see if you pull it a bit here you're gonna see it's almost like you have a chain space but you actually don't because it's just those two back post double crochets there it's in between the third and the fourth I think um, and we're gonna be going down doing it there okay so let's yarn over and start doing our toffee popcorn okay so you go in there we have to do one complete double crochet, one more double crochet that we don't complete, okay? Now we grab our other yarn again, okay? Pull that through and to keep things nice and tight so you don't lose everything, grab your yarn, you can pull at things as well to make it a bit better so we finish it that way again with your second color just do it once change color again sorry I went out of, out of the picture there thankfully we're doing two more grab your yarn again and you do finish that one and then you do two, two more so one and two in your original colour. Let that go a little bit. Go into your first, go into your first double crochet, pick up your yarn, pull through and chain to close it. Okay? Chaining four. So actually now you've chained chain five if you want to look at it that way. Going back in again. Um, in between those back of your work 
back post slip stitch to fasten this. You have to pull at it and actually uh, get your little thing to go through there. There we go. So now that's what that looks in the middle. Okay. These, uh, you can see obviously that you've got your little ends there. I'll show you what I do with them actually and how I, I move them. I'll do that already now because I might as well. So I cut the yarn and simply, um, because I want to be fastening these as well, from the back of your work, I go through here, go through those um, round 13, 14 grab the yarn and uh, put it out like that. Put it out of the way. Uh, I do the same thing here in the corner. Uh, you've got your leaf, go up through there, see? Grab the yarn and put it out the back because I will fasten it obviously on the back. Also, it makes it easier to see <laughs> what it looks like, what you've done, right? But let's keep going. We've just done that chain four after the toffee popcorn. Um, and after that toffee popcorn, we are chaining, let's see how many. Um, do, 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 sorry, lost where my eyes should be looking. Um, yes, we're doing a chain three. One, two, and three. And now we're doing these picots again. So it's gonna be exactly the same way, basically, as we did it the other side. We're gonna start in the first uh, single crochet of these 15. Obviously, you're skipping all of these. I haven't really said that either because it's, there's so many uh, to count then, so it's easier to do it this way. Hopefully, it's not too confusing. But you go, uh, you do a slip stitch, put that chain as well on the back of your work. So you do that slip stitch to fasten it there. After that, you start by doing a picot 3A. Like that. And then slip stitch, slip stitch. And that's that little tiny repeat in brackets that we're doing. We're doing that three times. So let's do it for the second time. One, two, three. And that. Pull it through. And we're doing slip stitch, slip stitch. And the final one, one, two, three. Like that, and a slip stitch, and another slip stitch, whoops. Another slip stitch like that, okay? After we've done them, we're doing the 6A picot. One, two, three, four, five, six. Going in through the first one. And for this one, remember, we're skipping the next stitch and doing the next repeat starts after that skipped stitch. So we're doing two slip stitch and then the picot rather than the other way around. So slip stitch, slip stitch, and then your picot 3A. Like that. And we do this three times. Like that, one, two. To finish that picot off, we're doing in the absolutely last single crochet of those 15, one last slip stitch. We are chaining five after that. One, two, three, four, five. And that's your first repeat done. So, well done. Uh, a little bit, see what I mean when it's like, a little bit tricky this round, although still pretty straightforward. A lot of slip stitches and, and things like that. But we do have these toffee popcorn, now, as you can see, things are layering up now, like that. So it looks, I think it looks very pretty. Still have one more round to go after this, and then you're done. Not the whole blanket, but almost. The rest is a, you know, walk in the park, piece of cake. So many more of those kinds of uh, things you can say, but I can only think of two. Uh, let's do this repeat again. 
All right. Um, I'm glad I'm making someone happy. I'm making myself laugh. Um, let's see. Let's start from the beginning again. So we've done this chain five that you know is going to go on the back of your work here. We're do, starting off with this back post slip stitch around the slip stitch in the corner from round 14. Chaining three, one, two, three. Doing our toffee popcorn in this corner here from round 13, which is, I think, a two, ch two chain space. So let's start off doing this toffee popcorn. Remember, we're doing a color change. So one, almost two. Hold that, grab your yarn, so you hold it tightly. You just pick up the other yarn, the other color, and pull that through like that. That completes obviously your second one. So now the loose end, we're holding it there together with our color E. Yarning over, doing half a double crochet, but, well, half of a double crochet, changing yarn again, completing that double crochet with the other color. So there we go, and then making two more double crochets, pulling that loop, loop out a little bit, going into the first of the five double crochets, grabbing a yarn and pulling it through, and then chaining one, and that's complete. So three more chains like that, and then we're going again behind your work, doing a back post slip stitch round that slip stitch in the corner. Move over, move this chain over here. Put that back up. Move that chain over so it lines up correctly. You can already now, I'll do that. I'll cut my yarn already now. Um, go in and grab it because it just look neat. It looks neater and it's, it's, I think it's nice to work when it looks neat. Pull them through. Okay, oh, need my hook. <laughs> Hard to crochet without a hook. Captain hook. Okay, yep. Yeah. So let's keep going. Now we're doing that chain five that's going to be on the back of your work. One, two, three, four, and five. We are going into skipping all of these and going into the first single crochet of those 15 doing a slip stitch to start off with. And after that slip stitch, we're doing those little repeats. So we're starting with a picot 3A, like that. And then doing two slip stitches after each other. First repeat. Na, 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 na. And then after that, that that other one we're doing, that's the second repeat. Sorry, I'm hearing my kids now. I always get a little bit distracted when I hear them, even though um, I know they can't really get in because I've locked the door. <laughs> Mom of the year, I've locked the kids out. They're not on their own. They're with a dad. It's not like I've, you know, left them on their own. After that third repeat. Um, we're doing the Pico 6A, so chaining six, one, two, three, four, five, six, going through that first chain that you have, whoops, dropping it again, through that first one, skipping the next stitch and starting our next repeat, which will be the opposite of what we just did. So two slip, stitch, slip stitches and then the Pico 3. A. Like that. And again. Slip stitch and slip stitch. One, two, three. Go through your chain. And then again. Slip stitch, slip stitch. Whoops, dropped me on. Um, but I've done two slip stitch, one, two, and then this is the final picot for this little part, and this repeat. And that's that repeat done, and then we've got one final slip stitch to do, like that. Um, after we've done that, we're doing a chain three, one, two, and three. Doing another 
back post slip stitch around that uh, in between those chains you remember that spot uh, after this we're chaining four and it's time one two three four for our final popcorn of this well final popcorn of, of, of this repeat that I'm doing with you and for me it's actually the final toffee popcorn for this round exciting stuff okay so let's get our yarn ready so it's a bit easier that always makes it easier doesn't it when you're a bit prepared remember we're going down into this uh, round 11 here so um, go in there do your toffee popcorn you should know it by now I think it's just a color change in the middle um, but it is a little clever one isn't it I remember when I did that it was for a uh, for another design called uh, uh, the flower jar that I did for some reason I just like snowed in on doing uh, crocheting jar covers for a while um, I did one called like the princess jar cover and things um, and then I did a flower one and this was just it just popped into my head and I think it's such a cute thing and I called it a toffee popcorn because what else would you call it so it ended up being a toffee popcorn mm -hmm. Final two, one, and two, pull at that, go through the first one to pick up your yarn. Popcorn is one of my, I really love those stitches. There's not enough popcorn in this, I just realised. One, two, three, four. Let's fasten that with the back post slip stitch and pull at that and move the chain over so we get everything in the correct space it always also looks a lot nicer when things are placed correctly because you kind of get oh that's what you're doing instead of going what's going on over here okay so let's catch that instead of it not catching there we go see that what's going on I think it looks very pretty I hope it's clear enough for you um, so we've done that chain four after the popcorn doing another chain three and then we're back to these little picots one two three so locate your first out of the 15 single crochets and go into that first one and make a slip stitch and make sure you put your chain on the back. Um, after that slip stitch, again, we're doing those repeats. So one, two, three chains to make your picot A. Slip stitch, and slip stitch. Another repeat of that. Now we're doing those, you can see, you know, when you've done three of them, you can see them pop. That's when you're doing your sixth. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's when you're doing your Pico 6A, which just becomes a lot bigger. And remember, we're skipping the next stitch and starting our next repeat with two slip, slip stitches. And then doing that. Slip stitch, slip stitch, one, two, three. Hmm. Slip stitch, slip stitch, and the final one, like that. And now the f final thing we do is slip stitch in that last single crochet. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And well, 
for me. I get to cut my own. I get to fasten it on the back. I get to place um, uh, all of all of these things. I think I'm not fastening them yet because this next round will be covering going around these. It's a bit tricky that this the next one coming. So I will again crochet half of it so that we can have a look at what's going on before we start the last round of part one. Well done. And here we are, back for round 17. I cannot believe it, uh, it's gone so quick. Uh, ridiculous. Okay, so I've prepared uh, repeats one and two, simply because this round is a little bit tricky. Not tricky really in, um, in, in, in stitches, but tricky in where you place them. Uh, so we're gonna have to be careful and work together. You can see it looks like they're really squished. Don't worry about that. I think if you've got loose attention, maybe it's even more squished, um, or just, you know, it looks like you have more, but it will all sort itself out. It's gonna look absolutely stunning, especially if you block this, you see what happens there. Okay, um, I've actually fastened all of my uh, little ends for my popcorns. That's why I have that there. <laughs> I just finished that really knocked my fingers out very twice <laughs> um but what we're going to be doing i'm going to see if we have any stitches and uh, the only new stitch actually that we have is the pico 2a um i'll be getting to that very quickly i think it's almost like the third stitch so um we'll get to that um and other than that again it's just a placement but you can see what's happening you've got this lovely almost like thistle um, leaves around your corners uh, and it's supposed to, you know, not be flat. And then we're doing these things around these fl flower buds, pulling them through, so we're creating spaces that we're pulling them through, like that. Um, and don't worry about it if you don't think that they're sticking there because we will be pulling them up later on. Uh, but that's not until the next part. So let's get started with this final round. You've been spending quite a lot of time with me now. Hope you're not extremely sick of me. <laughs> We're gonna do fine. Okay, so let's start this round off. Okay, so you remember that we did this, because um, we're obviously just crocheting in round 15. We're not touching really uh, round 16, which is these popcorns. We're crocheting around these. Uh, we'll get to that. But other than that, you're crocheting in the same color yarn. So yes, we've got color F, in my case, eucalyptus. <clears throat> and let's get going. Sorry if I have to make noises with my voice. I've got a sore throat again. This Christmas stuff just ain't going away. Um, so anyways, in round 15, if you remember, we did a slip stitch with a chain two. So we have this little chain space coming up here. That's where you start. You're gonna be starting off with a half double crochet in there. Um, I'm continuing on this repeat, but um, you start off there doing a standing one or, you know, however you start them. Um, so first one half double crochet, which is a starting stitch. After that, you're doing one more half double crochet. Double crochet. And this is where we're doing our first picot two. Now, if you remember, the number, which in this case is two, that is corresponding with the number of chains that you're making. So you're making two chains. But instead of going into that first chain, what you're doing is, if I can get closer. You can see these two legs here on the front. You're going back into the stitch that you just made before, okay? So you're going into there and doing your slip stitch. And that's your picot too done. So that's the other picot we're using. So that's all done in that chain two space. After that, 
then the next stitch and be careful now not to miss this hidden stitch pull that a bit because it's right there we're doing a double crochet do this quite slowly this round double crochet in the next stitch we're doing a half double crochet and after that we're doing um, an elongated single crochet so that's just basically a longer single crochet not going to pull it too tightly if you can see we've gotten to the place where we have this um, two DC or DC2 together yeah and the ESC or the uh, really long single crochet it's going to go around that whole stitch okay so not in the stitch so not in the top here but actually around so you're going to go through it there pull up your yarn and do a single crochet okay so it'll look like this after that we're doing a half double crochet in the next two stitches so one and then In the next stitch we're doing a double crochet and again we're doing this picot to B. So going through again, those two legs are not the chain, doing a slip stitch and then another double crochet in the same stitch, like that, okay? After this we're doing a half double crochet So you can see it's not the most complicated stitches, but see, look at that, see what's happened here. Isn't that pretty? So we've done that and now we're skipping a stitch and that's going to be your front post single crochet here that we're skipping. Now the corner parts are a little bit tricky. What's happening here, you have to look also at the, at the uh, text in the pattern. There's a lot of wording in this round. Um, and what you're going to be doing is you're going to be crocheting in the stitches here in the back in round 15 like, like I've said but you also be crocheting around these chains you know the ones coming from your back because we're hiding them okay so when you've skipped that stitch the first thing you're going to do is a slip stitch and you're doing that then around both of them so around that so go underneath and try and do this closely go underneath your chain and then locate the next stitch go into that stitch start there and do what is this a slip stitch yes slip stitch sorry I needed to find that so now again go in underneath that chain and find your next stitch, pull up your yarn, oh no sorry, we're doing a half double crochet, you have to yarn over first, go under that, you can see where you've already been in, so go into the next one, do a half double crochet, now for the next one you're doing a double crochet, okay, so locate that as well, going into both of them, and then do your double crochet. For this bit, okay, we're going to be doing only uh, the crocheting is going to be only in that middle stitch, which is a double crochet. So in that uh, corner, we did three half double crochets, one double crochet, three half double crochets. If I remember it correctly, might be wrong. But we're in the middle stitch. What's going to happen is we're going to be crocheting four stitches. Um, in total we're going to do five but only four will land in this back stitch again we're doing this around the chain but also we're going to be going into this chain too so now we're starting to cover it both so what we're going to do we're going to do two double crochets in that stitch covering your right chain okay so let's do that first so that's one Now what we're going to do is a front post a double crochet around the popcorn, okay? So just go behind your popcorn and do that front post double crochet. 
crochet, nothing weird about that. Let's see what happens, it's like really covering it now. Now this is where you jump over to your left um, chain and you're gonna cover that as well. Also in the same stitch as we've done all of these. So go in underneath that chain and then just locate exactly where you've been doing those stitches and do another two double crochets in that stitch. Like that. Well done. You can see now what's happening behind that. You're not seeing the chains anymore, but the popcorn's just been lifted up a bit and you can see that very clearly. So, when we've done that, just basically going back, doing the same, but coming back down. Now remember, we're still covering this. So in the next stitch, this, the chain will actually want to pull back now, but you're still going to be covering it. So just locate your next stitch, which is right there, kind of, kind of hard to see, but it's right there. You're going to do a double crochet in there and around that stitch. So double. After you've done that double, we're doing a half double, again covering the chain. After that, we're doing a slip stitch, which is your final, again around that chain as well. Oops, drop my yarn. And now, the next stitch should be your front post single crochet from round 15, and we're skipping that stitch. Okay, so when you've done that, Skipping that stitch, we're doing, going in there, and doing a single crochet. Next one we're doing a half double crochet. And after that, in the same stitch, we're doing a double crochet, a picot, 2B, and another double crochet. Okay, we should now um, be, let's see what we will, half double crochets in the next two stitches. One, and two. <clears throat> and now, look, we're at our, um, our 2DC together. So we're doing that elongated single crochet around that, like that. Don't have to do it too tightly. Into the next stitch, we're doing a half double crochet. In the next stitch, we're doing a double crochet and a picot 2B again, using them throughout this round. And now we're back to the chain. So we're doing um, a double crochet and then two half double crochets in that chain. That's your corner done. I know it took quite a long time. I think this I'm already up to about 12 minutes. It takes a long time, but that's what it will look like. Okay, can you see? So it looks really beautiful. These pointy leaves and this rounded top and everything. Now, this is also where you are going to be covering these flower buds. Okay, we're creating spaces, we're creating holes, and we're gonna pull them through those spaces later. You don't have to do it now, you can do it right at the end if you want to, um, because it doesn't really matter. Now, the first thing we won't want to do, um, because if we start crocheting anywhere, it's just gonna be a bit messy. We wanna fasten this, we're gonna be doing that with a slip stitch. Um, and we're doing this by trying to locate, this is a little bit tricky, but, <laughs> find a place that works if you're finding it hard but behind this picot um, which is in that first single crochet try and locate like a third stitch of that single crochet so I'm going in right there and just doing a slip stitch okay just so you can see you're pulling the leaf behind rather than it coming in front okay you want to chain one and for this, what we're going to be doing is front post double crochets and front post double crochet two together, okay? These are literally just like 
DC2 together, but calling them front posts because what we're going to be doing, we're going to be placing them in all of this, if I can show you clearly. If you remember when we did these chain spaces on the back, you can see the green bit where we we did those single crochets in the chain spaces. Um, all of these places where the chain spaces actually are fastened with that back post single, no, back post slip stitch, that's where we're gonna fasten them because if you look like this, you can see that they're basically quite large holes there with the, where these um, chains were made and that's what we're going to be using okay so we've chained one because we need to get there as well you'll be crocheting in front of them chaining which you'll pull back later we're going to start off doing a double crochet or a front post actually uh, a double crochet in front of this first picot here and quite clearly you should see that there just in front of it there's one of them so let's do a front post double crochet and chain two now you're going to do front post two together okay so we're going in after that chain two in the same spot that we just made that first one and it says do this in, the, in front of the first and in front of the second, okay? Like that. Okay? So you've done one of them in front and then you chain two again. And again, we're going into the same one in front of the second one, like we just did. So yarn over, go in and do a front post double crochet. Don't finish it, yarn over again. Do another front post double crochet, don't finish it, and then pull through all three loops on your hook. Chain two again. Oops. You are doing another one of these. This time, when you are in front of the, uh, the Pico 6A, you're gonna be placing the second one in this chain spot here from round 15. Okay, not 15 round 13. I had to think there. I'm pretty sure it's round 13. Um, so let's, oh, sorry, I did that correctly. So another front post, and I guess that would be called a double crochet because it's just in that chain, but just to be a bit consistent and you, you kind of get what's going on. For, when you've done that in front of the uh, Pico 6A, you're chaining three. Again, you're only over, going into that chain again from round uh, 13. Not completing it, you're only over and going into the next little space there and around that post, front of the fourth Pico 3A. Chaining two. If this is a little bit unclear, please let us know. We will help you all the way and we'll uh, we still be doing, oops, still doing a whole nother side. So it's not like this is the first and second, last time you can see it. Doing another front post, DC2 together, like that, chaining two. It's like when you when you kind of get it, like you say, oh, I get it. That's how that's how she thought of doing that. It it goes really quickly. Like you don't have to really look at the pattern or anything. Like that chaining two, and when you've done that, and you're all the way to your last and final picot of that little flower bunch, you chain two again, and then just like you started off. You want to do a front post double crochet just to frame everything you chain one and now just locate like a third st stitch just on the back just like you did the first time okay try and find one that will, will do good um, sometimes a little bit tricky sometimes you just have to improvise a little bit find one 
and do a slip stitch there. Okay, to show you now what we've done, we pull them through. So, if you look closely, what you've done here is almost like V-stitches, okay? Because they look like them, except they're front posts, okay? So, what we're gonna do is just pull these little flowers like so. Putting that through with a chain three. And as I said, don't worry if you if, if you think that they're not popping enough, they're gonna be pulled up later on, so there's nothing to worry about. But you see what's happening, so that's what they do. And you've got the flower, the, you know, all the green bits going around, so it's like a little garden. That's why we've got the first one. It goes like this. So let's keep going. Um, let's put my hook through the loop rather than just, okay, there's yarn. <laughs> okay. I have to actually change pages. So many words in this and so many pages actually just for this round. <laughs> That's why it looks scary, but it's not. Um, again, we are coming to the middle now. And what we're saying again is because now again we have these, these chains, but actually these ones we're skipping. We're gonna be jumping over them. So let's see how we're gonna do that. Okay, so your flower bow section to the right is done. In the next stitch, a bit to find it probably. You're going to be doing a single crochet, two double crochets, it can be a little bit tight, don't worry about it. Happy code to B, like that, and then a half double crochet all in the same stitch. Okay, like that. After that, you're doing half double crochets in the next two stitches. So that's one and two, okay? And then in the last and final stitch of that little uh, chain place, you're doing a single crochet. Now, uh, when we're jumping over this, um, to locate, you can see it's almost pulling over the stitch you want to get into. So you might have to pull it a bit to your right to be able to go into that stitch. And uh, what we're doing there is we're doing a slip stitch. Oops. <coughs> Do you have it? Like that. Slip stitch. So now you can see that it's coming through your work, okay? So after that slip stitch, we're doing two half double crochets in the next two stitches. So one. this um, this chain one space uh, in that chain one space we're doing a double crochet chain in two and another double crochet okay and again we're doing uh, the same thing back so make sure we don't miss that hidden stitch two half double crochets stitch and two in the next and after that you're doing a slip stitch in the next little stitch and now again we are jumping over this chain okay so let's pause that a little bit so that we can locate our next our next stitch right here which is obviously in the next uh, chain space that we've made so we're doing a single crochet, half double crochet in the next two stitches, one and two, and then in that final one, we're doing, let's see, half double crochet, starting off with that. So it's hard to locate when there's so much text on your, on your paper. It's hard to locate. We're doing a double crochet. 
Micro 2B. So it's actually a tad different than, uh, than the one you're doing in the stitch previous. Well, not in the stitch previous, but in uh, over on the other side, due to several reasons that I won't bore you with. And then finally, a single crochet. Okay, uh, we're slip stitching now because, as you can see now, we're almost at the end of this. The only thing we have left is the uh, is the flower bud section to the left. Okay, we're going to be doing this exactly in the same way as we did over here for the white one. Okay. So we're starting off locating a good spot to place that si uh, slip stitch, which is trying to locate like a third stitch on the back. Oops, out of the picture completely. God, I'm sorry about that. I'm getting tired as well. It's actually quite late. I don't know what time it is, but it's probably closer to one in the morning than anything else. Okay, so let's see, we chain one. And then yarn over. Remember, we've got these six places before all of our six Pico 3As, and then in front of the uh, Pico 6A, we've got the chain space from round 13 that we're using. Okay, so let's start off by going into that place there and making a double crochet or well, front post double crochet, chaining two. It's going to be going behind your first pico, and then we're going into the same spot again to do the two together. So we've done one, and then that two together in front of the second pico, like that. Again, we're chaining two, which is going behind the second pico, and then we do another front post, two together. third one and now we're doing another front post but the first one is in that front post the second one is in this chain space okay so when we've done it in that chain space we're chaining three Again, doing the front post to the DC two together. Sorry, there's so <laughs> so many to remember now. <laughs> I'm finding it more difficult uh, than I thought I would. Like that, okay. Chaining two to go behind the fourth pico. Doing that again, like so. Chaining two to go behind the picots. Yarning over, doing this final two together. In front of that last one there. Let's repeat. Chaining two to go around the last picot. And obviously we need to go back down and just do one double crochet. What a front post double crochet. And that starting bit, we're chaining one so we can get back there. And now locating the third stitch. See? Third stitch. And doing a slip stitch. Because life's just that good. Okay, so let's uh, do that. And now just so I can show you. So well done if you've been able to follow this. It is tricky, um, but again, it's just the placement of it that's tricky. It's not really all the other stuff because the, the, the stitches you know, and it's just putting everything in the right place. That's all of them done. So that's what we've just done. So you can see all the flower buds are coming out. 
see this beautiful corner like all of the others and then this is the final repeat so let's do this then one more time and um, hopefully um, you know that will be part one done <laughs> okay so this one is supposed to go on the back we're using them for later okay so let's start this again if you remember we've got this chain two space so let's start there with two half double oh i have to turn my page again for some of the parts of this i know it, know it by heart when i crocheted it once or twice i remember it um but these ones where it's you know one half double crochet here, here and there and this that the other those i don't remember but let's start this off then so two half double crochets in this chain two space and i just yeah i got it right there we go pull it down a little bit if you want to okay so that's two half double crochets one double crochet and now we're doing a picot 2a sorry 2b i am really sorry it's, it's, it, maybe it's a bit too late for me to record we <laughs> recording tutorials but you know because you've got the pattern in front of you so when i do say the errors you just go okay come on and not just okay come on but okay come on so that's the chain two space done after that remember that you have this hidden stitch here doing a double crochet in that and after that doing a half double crochet you should now be already at your uh, dc2 together which you're doing this uh, long stitch around so around the whole stitch you can see around coming up at the back rather than in the stitch okay after that we're doing half double crochets in the next two stitches so that's one and that's two. After that, in the same stitch, we're doing a double crochet. We go to B, like so. And another in the same place, double crochet. After we've done that, we're doing a half double crochet. And then a single crochet. And now, we're skipping a stitch, which should be your front post single crochet from round 15 that we're doing and now if you remember we're at this tricky part when we're crocheting in all of these stitches behind here but also around covering these two chains that are going right at the back here okay so let's start off we start off with a slip stitch okay so you can actually move them if you make sure you you put your hook underneath the chain and put it you can find the stitch easily as you'll see oh it's right there that's all we're skipping find that stitch and do a slip stitch like that when you've done that we're doing a half double crochet and in the next stitch we're doing a double crochet so half double crochet and then again in the next stitch double like that now we're at this middle one where we're doing two double crochets that cover this side. We're doing a front post DC around the uh, toffee popcorn. And then we're doing two double crochets that in the same stitch that cover the left chain, okay? So let's go and do that. So two double crochets around the chain, the same stitch. front post around this lovely and beautiful little popcorn and now we're jumping over and doing covering this chain into the same stitch we've been using two more double crochets chain and into that stitch again like that so we've covered it now afterward that was my other butterfly effect falling on the floor okay and after we've done that we're doing a double crochet in the next stitch and now it's almost like if that is pulled to the back you can clearly see your next stitch but remember to also cover that chain even if it falls to the back a bit so double crochet and then we're doing a half double crochet go 
Okay, I'm covering that stitch, no chain. And then after that, it's a slip stitch. Okay. Oops, dropped it. Like that. Okay. So when we've done that, we're skipping the next stitch. Again, this should be your front post single crochet. So after that front post single crochet that we are skipping, we're doing a single crochet, doing a half double crochet. After that, in the same stitch, we're doing a double crochet. Half double crochets in the next two stitches. One and two. You should now be at that uh, two, uh, that DC two together, uh, where we're going around the stitch and doing a long single crochet like that. After that, we're doing a half double crochet. We're doing in the same stitch, double crochet, and a picot to B, like that. And now we're in our chain again, and that's where we're doing one double crochet and two half, two half double crochets like that. My phone just warned me that I am running out of battery, so let's hope I can finish this before it dies. Okay, I'll be quick. <clears throat> We're on a home stretch now. We've just got the flower bud section and the middle one. So you remember, we fasten on the back, find a third loop somewhere, and fasten with a slip stitch. Chain one. And now you remember where you, you, you know now where we're putting these. So it's just about knowing where, you know, just keeping count really. So in the first one, we're first doing front post double crochet. We're chaining two to go behind. Front post double crochet two together in the same one and in the next one. Okay, chaining two. After that, we're doing again, just to doing the exact same thing all the time, working our way across these flower buds, chaining two. The only difference is in front of the Pico 6A, the front post DC2 together is around that post, but also around the chain. And instead, we're chaining three to make sure we get around that Pico 6A. Then we're starting off the next little part in the chain and then in front of the next little flower bud. Chaining two again. That's what we're doing. Going to the same spot. That can be a bit tricky because it gets a little bit tight when you have that uh, in that chain, but I go in between both of them. So I don't go behind, because I do always do in front for the next stitch that I'm working on, if it doesn't say otherwise. Chaining two, doing another of these front post double crochets, two together. Such a long name. <laughs> and in front of the first one chaining two to go around the first one and to finish the flower bud section off we do a front post double crochet around that final one chain one and go and make sure we settle it in a back chain here with a slip stitch and that's that flower bud section done I'm going to pull them all through later we can keep going Okay, so in this next section, which is the middle section, I again need to change my sheet of paper now because I know that that's on the next page. Okay, so very simple. In the first little one here, we're doing 
a single crochet, two double crochets, whoops, picot to B, like that, and then we're doing a half double crochet. That's all in that same stitch. So we're doing half double crochets in the next two stitches. One and two. Okay? And then for the last and final one in that, we're doing a single crochet. So there we are. And as you remember, these chains we're just crocheting over, we're letting them hang out because it's gonna look beautiful. And that's what we want. When you've got that, you can see that from one of the other rounds. I'm not even going to try and count which one that is now. Way too late for that. It's beautiful though. Anyways, <laughs> uh, what we're doing now is we're going to have to push that a little bit to the side so we can locate the next stitch. Um, and we're doing a slip stitch to begin with. So find that, do a slip stitch. Um, after that we're doing two half double crochets in the next two stitches. One, two, one, two. Okay. And then in that chain space, we're doing a double crochet, chain two. Leaving more yarn there. And another double crochet in that same uh, chain space. Okay. And after that, I missed the hidden stitch, doing two half double crochets in both of the next stitches. We're doing a single. Oh, is it a single or a slip stitch? Let me check. It's a slip stitch in the next little one. Okay, so again, we might have to pull that a little bit. We're going to the next section. Okay, so in that one, we're doing a single crochet, starting off with that. Half double crochet in the next two stitches. One and brackets you can see it's a half double doing a double doing your picot to B and then we're doing a double and then a single and now really the home stretch because now we've just got this last flower uh, section to the left to do again so fingers crossed that my batteries will hold up <sighs> otherwise sorry I'll see you back in a bit <laughs> okay so we're chaining one uh, no we're not sorry oh too early on the chaining we are fastening this again finding a third loop on the back Placing in a good place behind that first picot. Now we're chaining. Sorry about that. Front post, but in front of that, going the, the, going in front of the first picot. Chaining two. Make sure that can go behind. Doing the front post. Double crochet two together. Someone who doesn't know crocheting, that must sound like a lot of mumbo jumbo, don't it? Friend post, body body. She wouldn't know what you would like to do if you didn't crochet. And let's see. Now the chain two. All of the chain twos are the ones going behind um, the Pico 3As. Okay? And when we get to this spot, remember doing in front of that last Pico A, but also in that chain space and we're chaining three this time to make sure it reaches all the way behind our Pico 6A. Sorry, didn't mean to drop that. Like that, okay. Again, chaining two. Back to chaining two and making sure we get in there finish. You are so close to finishing. You feel it. You're almost done with part one. Only nine left. Oh, 
what you're talking about. Crazy stuff. Okay, so this is the final one we're doing. Look at that. Okay, and then chain two. One front post, same spot to finish that whole bed of roses, bed of rosebuds. Chain one and place it right there on the back of your work. The slip stitch and ta da! We are actually done. Um, so, you need to pull all of them through, you can do that, if you know how to do that. This is what we're left with. So, well done. I'm gonna cut my yarn, because this is just a job well done. We've done all of the first 17 rows. Um, and that's what it looks like. It's been so much fun, and uh, I'm gonna start getting uh, ready for part two. You're gonna have to wait a week, um, but still, I've ho I really hope that you've had a lovely time. I hope that you've understood everything that's going on and everything's been clear. If not, please let us know. Um, go to our homepage, which is sistersandstitch.com. You will find everything regarding the cow there. We've got our forum, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Hopefully someone else, if we're not quick enough, will be able to answer it. And other than that, you know, there's always Instagram. So, uh, thank you guys for joining me and I can't wait to see you all back here next week. Bye.